we're live hello everyone we're back with more ace attorney and i actually have colin on screen this time yeah, yeah, yeah and and level. he's not in a weird black box <laughs> he's actually transparent <laughs> Yay! I actually really do want to see what that looks like, but if I do that, that's gonna... Oh, I can do that over on this side, that's right. Uh -huh. Please. And I should be on his stream as well, so... We we spent way too long it's trying to get doing, this worked out. I'm still doing free stream stuff right now, actually. I want you to see how this looks first before... Alright, let, really... let me pull yours up, because I'm dumb, and I've got to huh. pull yours up. No, go oh, cool, go oh, cool. So I've got your chat there, good. I look pretty okay on your stream, hooray. Yeah. Oh, I've got to eat this, oops. Oh no, And ah. looking at the height difference, yes, uh, Glory is a tall queen. So. <laughs> I was just, I was trying to figure out the way to like, like edit it and the, the cropping was giving me a hard time. So I was like, fuck it. I'm like, Colin gets to be a short king. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. I've, I've stood next to you in real life. You're a tall queen. I am not. I am very short, but I appreciate it. You're not. It's 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 the hair. The hair makes you look shorter than you actually are. Oh goodness. All right, let's, <laughs> I'm I'm on your stream now, so let's see what uh. Woo woo! All right. Oh, I should hold on. Oh, there I am. I get my own little box. Perfect. Yeah. Ring survey from Mentis. Welcome to. I lost my train of thought. Ace yeah. Attorney investigations. Yeah. Welcome back to Ace Attorney Investigations. We are going to get through this eventually. Not welcome to the stream. Not. Hi, not. Hi. Hi, hi. Damn. Oh, thank you guys for the. Thank you, Colin. Thank You're you, welcome. Noct. You guys are the best. <laughs> also, thank yeah, you so... to the Basket Rabbit for the follow. I know who they are. Holy shit, it's been 15 days. I had COVID for 15 days. Because <laughs> they followed I'm me like... I enough to avoid that. Yeah, so... Yeah, I made it three years. Uh, I was so close. <laughs> So yeah, for everyone who's not in my Discord, um, part of the reason why I wasn't streaming for a while was we had the holidays and I had a training course and I was gonna stream that, that Friday night when I got home, but I was feeling kind of sick and then it ended up being COVID. So yeah, so uh, that, that, was, uh, that, was, that was a fun time. November was a fun month. Uh, I ended up missing Thanksgiving with the family. I was, uh, I was quarantined to a whole ass separate state <laughs> away from them. But yeah, so either yeah, way, so we're back. Um, we'll see how my voice handles itself. Um, how many times I have to cough or die. <laughs> or both. Oh, that reminds me I should get water. Yeah, I've got water and I've got soup. Water also, if you're over on my stream, uh, for some reason, the uh, the game audio is not coming through XSplit. So you get you get Ace Attorney jazz music. Just just insert a, a Godot's theme here. That is one of the ones on this track. Yeah, hold on, I need to make sure. Oh, can you hear the game music though, real quick, Noct, before you before you lurk? Is it coming through? Okay, great. Perfect. Thank you so much. Enjoy, enjoy whatever else you're doing. And and enjoy the lurk. <laughs> nice seeing you, Noct. Alright. Alright, so yeah, we yeah, everything looks good on mine. Like 90% of yours looks good. It's got a little piece of shit in the bottom Oh my left god, be quiet. Just, just, just <laughs> hush in your little box over there. <laughs> 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 oh my god. I can 
do that too on mod. I can wave down to you. Hello down there. <laughs> Hi. Wait, I'm trying to get my, my model. Hi. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Oh, this is fun. Oh, that's hilarious. All right, you so. Know, real talk, this is something I partially envisioned like a couple of years back, because I know you're probably never gonna do like actual face cam. I envisioned like if the two of us were in the same location streaming, just like snapping a picture of the background so that I sit on the one half and then just like the other half is cropped except for the picture and that's just your VTuber model there. So it's like, hi, I'm here with VTuber glory. Oh, uh, yep, yep, yep. I just, it makes me, I don't know why, but it makes me think of like uh, Connor and uh, Iron Mouse. Like when he takes, that when he takes her places, he has her on a tablet and just carries the tablet around with him. Oh, it's gotcha. super cute. <laughs> They're besties. <laughs> All right, but anyway, <laughs> March 15th, 2 11 a.m., the Atrium Neutralis Lobby. Oh, and so everyone knows, I calculated this one fucking case. Uh, we are 27 hours into it. That is basically the length of, I think, the entire second Ace Attorney game for us. Holy shit. And that's just like, that's uh, not the time it's taken us to do it. That's the actual time we've spent in this fucking case. Yeah, no, that's not. Wow. That, well, well, actually, I might be over exaggerating in terms of like the uh, Justice for All. I know Justice for All was our shortest you know, overall like time for the streams, but still, 27. Yeah. Discord ate you, by the way. No, come back. No, come back. I'm, uh, there we go, you're back. Oh no. ah. Just Discord things. I'm reducing! <laughs> I'm melting! Because I recently rewatched Game Grumps play uh, Doki Doki Literature Club. There's a scene where the line did. says, Natsuki turns, t turns to a... Uh, box of uh, manga and he misreads as uh, turns into a box of manga so they're like oh god what's happening I'm reducing help that's funny anyway yeah so the March 15th okay we're on this one I can't believe it Shaw. extra territoriality oh my god I love that anyway, I believe that's a word <laughs> yes and there's nothing we can really do about that in the end, we didn't have enough authority to bring him to justice. I can't believe that even though we know he's the boss, we can't lay a finger on him! I know. I literally just said that, Kay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Prosecutor, sorry to skip out on you, but I've got some business to take care of. The gel in my hair is starting to, uh, it's been a long day. Stuffy building, the gel is starting to decompose. I need to, I need to re-gel my hair. Alright, have fun with that line. <laughs> if we can't even give an evil guy like him a slap on the wrist, then what the heck were laws created for? What good are they? Okay, out Control. here spitting facts. <laughs> <laughs> If the law can't help us, then I'll go as the Yatagarasu and take care of this myself. I was going to make a joke about her working outside the law and just committing murder. Let's fucking go, Kay. Hi, Robbie. Thank you Hello, for the Rose, resub. The dream. That's what I get for trying to use my other hand. My other hand does not, like, work all that well. The other hands end up just pulling a John Cena. Just, you can't see me. Yeah, right? You can't see me. <laughs> Don't you dare. 26 <laughs> months. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, that was a bit too harsh. I meant, don't you dare. I know how you feel, sir. But try and take on an ambassador after all. And he did tell Shoei to get out of the theater. I 
else is kind of their country, I guess. But I feel like I've been swept across the face for just doing my job. What am I going to eat for dinner? We've been here since 6 in the evening and I never ate anything. It's now 2 in the morning and I am gosh darn hungry. I wonder if Wright made anything for dinner. <laughs> Just kidding, that man doesn't know how to cook. <laughs> All that man knows how to do is clean toilets. <laughs> Not the toilets! What am I going to do? What? Oh, is it? Is it quiet? Okay, I... Where's the... Uh, where's my stupid... Here it is. Okay, um... Boop. 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 That worthless cook had better have the fish and chips ordered by the time I get home. Is that a little... Is that a little better? Or do you need it still a little bit louder? Maybe we should be talking a little quieter? No! Maybe we should be speaking louder at the top of our lungs! <laughs> anyway, that's the joke! <laughs> oh my god. I can't, I can't do that laugh that Cherry does in that. <laughs> I, I can't do it as well. But it's just it's such a good laugh. It makes it feel any better than most of the guys I know do the same thing. Oh, well then, go ahead. <gasps> okay, game seems okay now. So let me. I seem quiet. Okay, I let me turn me up a little bit more, and then I'll turn Colin up a little bit more. Is that better? Let me also go ahead and get a little bit closer to my mic. Mike. Mike and Ike's. Mike Wazowski. Hey. No, Mike Wazowski. Ike, apparently. Apparently, they're just called Ike's for some reason, because every time I ever find a package of those things, the mic is crossed out. Really? Yeah. I'll, I'll, maybe it's just a main thing, but every, like, if you go to a movie theater and order a thing of Mike and Ike's, the mics all have, like, are always scribbled out for some reason. Oh! Yeah, I fixed I, it! I Yay! Not... Thank, no, but really thanks, Robbie, because I, I was having issues with it before. And I was trying to figure out, like, what the problem was, so. Oh, shit, I need to fix that. Oops. Hello, Yay! Zachary, welcome to the stream. I need to fix a thing here real quick. Hold up. <laughs> oh, shoot, did they have a divorce again? <laughs> That's what I was wondering. That's what I wondered years ago. <laughs> you know what? I forgot to steal your chat. Is it your YouTube chat that normally gets people, or is it the Twitch chat? Uh, eh. Neither. Um, that's the YouTube one that Zachary's currently in, which, as I was gonna say, Zachary, welcome to the stream. Where the Hello, fuck is Hello, hi, hi, hi. Where's my chat box? All right, I'll go? do the YouTube chat then. Chat box. Here we go. Um. Oops. Wait, that's not right. Hold on. Where's chat box? Okay. Ooh. That's not what I want. Dang it. Okay, I know what to do. I, ah, no! Can't you see? Now we're only falling apart. We were put together in the first place? I mean, that's a valid point, but you don't have to call it out. <laughs> okay, this needs to stop. Hold on. Snap the grid. Enough of that, okay? There we go. Okay. Yeah, I haven't had them in ages either. They're like small. They're, well, my hand stay. There we go. They're like small. I have to reach, okay. I have to reach, like, super far out for the, for the camera. To, <laughs> just casually do the grab hands meme. Hold on. I can't get my other hand to function. Like, the, the grab hands meme. Oh. Welcome to Ace Attorney in 3D! <laughs> in 3D! <laughs> I can't get my, <laughs> my hand does not want to work. Oh, well. Fuck it. Oh. It's scuffed. <laughs> I 
Should Small I retreat for now? Yes. Or maybe just a better plan of attack? Hold it. Oh, that was gay. <laughs> Come on, everyone. We can't give up yet. Scuff with a VTuber model? Never. <laughs> oh boy, case four. Best of luck with your rebuttals in this case. Oh, don't worry, Zachary. We know how case four is. We've been here a while. Yeah, it's oof. I love I love K's this theme is, though. This is like I think our eighth or ninth stream on this case. Uh, you missed earlier, Zach. I uh, calculated. Uh, we're in our like twenty eighth hour of this case so far. <laughs> it's true suffering. Okay. It's a good case, but it's like, holy shit, is it long? Like, I think at this point, it, I mean, I, again, I know we go on tangents, but I'm pretty sure this is at the point of being longer than the Rise from the Ashes case in the first game, isn't it? Yeah, I, I oh yeah. Spent a lot this is the, this is definitely the longest case, I think, that we've been in so yeah. far. And I don't think there's anything in any of the following three games that top this either. Like, I think this just might be the longest case I've ever seen in Ace Attorney. Okay. Maybe. That, that, that's good to know, actually. If I mean, I'm sure there will be a case that's, like, at least similarly as long as Rise from the Ashes, but, like, maybe as long as it's not as long as this case. Yeah. We might finish it in a reasonable amount of time. Yeah. Maybe, like, three or four years. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Guys. I want you to think about something for a sec. We've never let up for even a second. And as long as we don't stop investigating, we okay, might on, find the rotten treasure hidden here. What? Okay, I have to stop you for a moment. Um... Yeah, it's way past her bedtime. I believe uh, Francisca has fallen asleep. Oh no! <laughs> she is not opening her. Yeah, she is out. <laughs> Poor Franny. She's just very good at uh, sleeping standing up. <laughs> Poor Franny. She just. She doesn't usually. Franny doesn't stay up usually past ten o'clock. So we are well <laughs> past her bedtime. Listen, she needs her beauty sleep. All right, that's how she stays so beautiful. I was about to say, it's like. Can't risk any of that, cause well, no, I, you, she can risk some of that because there's a lot of that beauty to go around. <laughs> she, she's white. Come on, Mr. Edgeworth. You're right, Kay. Very well. Let us reopen the investigation and see what we find. Come on, Kay. Right behind you. They both just run off with like no actual destination in mind. Yes. They end up on like the third, the third floor of like the left side of the suite, and it's like, all right, Ed, Mr. Edgeworth, what's the plan? I don't actually know. I just want to run away from Gumshoe and Frenny. <laughs> Listen, I'm tired. It's been a long ass day. <laughs> it's I fucking two a.m. <laughs> It's 2 a.m. I'm tired. I needed to run to keep my brain awake, okay? Exactly. <laughs> okay, then I'll go check out the ball a bit more, sure. Uh, 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 uh. And I am awake, thank you very much. <laughs> I, I, I was something... just pretending to be asleep. <laughs> Three jokes come to mind, and I don't like any of them. <laughs> and I have some things that I need to investigate further in Alabast. Okay, bye, Franny. You know, I just realized that you were. Cro I changed it to green so you could chroma key. I think you could chroma key an OBS to the blue. Oh well, worry about that another time. Uh, now then. Before I gather any more information, I should do a bit of housekeeping. Housekeeping? Passion cards. Right? Arrest. A passion. Housekeeping. <laughs> I'll come back later. <laughs> yes. <laughs> passion flowers data erased from my organizer. Uh, I guess we don't need that anymore. All right. Begin investigation. The Atrium Neutralis Lobby. Ambassador Alba seemed agitated over something. <laughs> agitated Alba. <laughs> 
<coughs> Dead. I sense that there is something he doesn't want us to investigate. The whole ass case, my guy. Edgeworth, it's <laughs> very clear. <laughs> Remember, we're playing a visual novel. I know. The main character has to be fucking stupid. I know. Well, it's because he wants us to do that. Uh, Oh, speaking of, uh, Genshin has this mechanic now. It has this exact mechanic where you sit down and you connect thoughts to each other and then come to your Eureka moment. Oh my god. So I'm like, I'm like, oh, right. I, besides Ace Attorney, I have experience with this still. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I uh, wonder Rose, why. Can you the favor on top of the... Rose, can you quickly hop over to uh, my stream and just check to see like i have ace attorney jazz music playing are you able to hear the game audio as well xsplit tells me that it's not capturing it and i don't know what to do about that <laughs> xsplit is being rude well it's not really xsplit it's more ah! so the um the elgato wavelength it just no matter what i try like what audio track i try and stream it to Elgato Wavelength doesn't seem to want to deal with it at all, the 3DS capture program. Huh. That's strange, because mine's working what? fine. What was the question? <laughs> That's fine. That's okay, Rose. Um, no, I was wondering if you could check, like, do you hear the, like, the, the game audio underlying at all? Like, I know I have... Actually, it'd be easier probably... I was going to say, just pause two. the jazz music. Yeah. You don't, you don't just pause jazz music. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, unless, you know, you're listening, you've got an actual saxophone player standing there. <laughs> you don't know that I don't. <laughs> uh, from the capture or from your mic? Uh, from the capture. All right, well, I, while you do I, that, I'm actually going to BRB real quick. Get more broth on the bobby. No, I have to pee. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was... <laughs> that was great to witness. The capture has game audio, yeah, or it did. Here, a great way for me to test it out. Are you able to hear any of this noise? Did you try setting it to Wumbo? Welcome back. Thank you. To both of you, actually. I'm gonna eat some of my lettuce. I have to meet myself so you don't hear the crunch. Figure out. Yeah, no, I'll have to figure out why that's a thing at another time. Oh well, put the music back on at least so that 
you know, my viewers can at least hear something. Yeah, I'm sorry it's not working. Eh, I'll have to just figure that, like, I'll just have to figure that out some other point. Hmm. Because it's not always consistent either, because sometimes sound also goes through XSplit when I don't have it going through XSplit. Like, Shadow the Hedgehog at one point did so, and I'm like, where the fuck is this music coming from? Uh, I gotta love the scuff. Yep. Oh well, anyway. Uh, oh. There are two special circumstances that surround the Ambassador. First, the MBT itself has extraterritorial rights. Also, I was gonna say earlier, it was so funny as you were getting up, your VTuber model just like moving around with you, and then as soon as you got off screen, just very slowly return to position. Yeah, she, it's funny when she goes to default, default phase. <laughs> Uh, if something happens on Alabastian soil, we are unable to legally prosecute him. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Kay. Cool. It sounds like embassies are the perfect place to steal whatever you want. <laughs> and murder the math too, run a smuggling operation, and make counterfeit bills, apparently. But I thought all the counterfeiting was done by Mr. Cochin and Babal. Yes, he apparently used the embassy's coupon printing press to do it. Okay, Cochin's counterfeiting op. Used Bobbly's embassy's printing press and Bobbly's ink to make counterfeit bills. Every time I hear Bobbly's, I just think of I Love Lucy. Oh, I just think of Bob Bowie. Bobbly's! That's what they say in that show, right? Hmm. God, it's been forever since I've watched I Love Lucy. I've never watched. The, the extent of my I Love Lucy knowledge comes from the song Ricky by Weird Al Yankovic. And uh, uh, all the women going to the I Love Lucy convention in the movie Rat Race. All right, fair enough. Yeah, which that being said, uh, my joke is in relation to Babaloo. Babaloo. Yeah. That's Baba Lou, Lucy. Okay. But it's the same story over there anyway. Babal also has extraterritorial rights. Which brings me to my next point. The ambassador's extraterritorial rights. Those rights are effective even in our own country. Really? Totally just did like the Mimi anime John the floor pose. She did. She really did. <laughs> No matter what happens, he can never be tried in our courts. Yeah, diplomatic, diplomatic immunity is a real bear. Oh, well, let me do a thing here. Hello? Hello? Ah. Uh, Bueller? There we go. Haha, -ha, I executed mod privileges. Oh, does someone reach out to you to try to sell you something? Mm. Sell you some bots? No, someone reached out to you. To, someone reached out to you to. Uh, oh wait, no, it was in mine. Shit. I was gonna Never say, mind. I'm like, I didn't see anything in mine. I forget this. Pop out. Okay, pop out chat on the right is mine. Pop out chat on the left is yours. Okay. Uh, I got three chats to keep track of here. Uh, anyway. He retains some very special rights, indeed. Basically, no matter what wrongs he may commit, we can't bring him to trial here. <laughs> Rose, we're reaching out to you about your car's uh, extended, extended warranty. warranty. <laughs> oh, I forgot to pop out your Twitch chat. I just popped out the YouTube chat. <clears throat> so I guess we really yeah. don't stand a chance, do we? I wonder if I could find that fair girl to commit another murder. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> she seems really good about committing murder. You know, I didn't actually but do sure. any of those, right? But sure, none of those were actually her. Hmm, I don't know. If she's hanging out with Wright that much, there must be some 
case of guilt. I remain unconvinced. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why else would she be eating all that burgers if all those burgers if not to keep her strength up for murder? Oh my god. Murder burgers. Murder burgers! <laughs> We might stand a chance if we can somehow nullify either of the, his special rights. Oh my gosh, actual movement for the first time in how fucking long? Yes, but first I want to talk to Kay anyway. Yes? Ask her about the investigation. We've come too far to give up! We must expose Ambassador Alba's misdeeds, Mr. Edgeworth! Yes, of course. Just like that one song from Hamilton. Oh my god. <laughs> and we've got to find a way to steal the truth and get it out there. For my father's sake. Actually, now that I think about it. Let's see. This takes place just after the third game. So yeah, this would be like just after the peak of Hamilton's uh, success here in the U.S. Oh yeah, that's true. Like like 2017 I think so yeah yes and we will the reason for Ambassador Alba's nervousness must still be here somewhere furthermore I need to pin down exactly what happened in here I'll start by thoroughly examining this room for any information I can find okay and agitated Alba question mark Mr. Edgeworth if you don't pay attention Ambassador Alba is gonna get away Yes, I know. Kay, are you incapable of saying my name normally? Uh-huh. I mean, the judge the doesn't say it normally either. I didn't catch your joke, but... Oh, I said the judge doesn't say it normally either. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> always have to, always have to extend out that Mr. part. Mr. Edgeworth. I mean, I don't mind it, but... Mr. Edgeworth! <laughs> <laughs> now, hurry up and do that sweet <laughs> thing you always do! I have no idea what you're talking about. What? You don't? Oh, come on! You know what I'm talking about! That thing you do! I literally just said I don't know what you're talking about. Are you talking about logic? Yes, that's it! So hurry up and let's swing already! Whoa, Kay, I am in a very committed relationship. I do not swing anyway. Also, you are a child. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, you, that's right. Kay, you are also... 17, you are not old enough to be swinging anyway. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. You know that. <laughs> all right, all right. To be honest, it's been a bit hard to connect everything up until now just by looking. However, I should be able to piece together... If... However, I should be able to piece things together if I take another look at my leads. Perhaps now is the time to use logic and reason my way to the truth. Um, All right. Perhaps it's the time to use logic and reason my way to the truth. There we go. Uh, I wonder if Kay... Oh my god, we have so much shit we can show her. Well, we know the most important thing. Have my badge. Yep. I'm pretty sure we've said this before, though. Okay, no, actually, this does look new. Okay, I'll do it again. Oh, oh. Now you say that after I've already gone through the whole thing. Damn. Okay. I mean, I did the whole thing already, too, so. Oh, this is a prosecutor's badge. This proves that you're a real prosecutor, right, Mr. Edgeworth? <laughs> Precisely. Well, I've got one, too. Mine's the Yatagarasu's badge. But if you walk around with that on your scarf all the time... All you're doing is proclaiming to, be the world, to the world that you're a thief. I mean, I do that normally. So it's not like it's a problem. Like I said, the Yatagarasu is noble. And because I'm full of righteousness, there's no need for me to be all sneaky. 
crossover idea. K gets adopted by um, Dompa. Oh. <laughs> or Loompa, I guess. Loompa, that was the name of the oh, the founder. Okay, I couldn't remember. Yeah, Loompa's like, the founder. Uh, Donpa is his son, and Dodonpa is his evil grandson. Exactly. Yeah, I, I could remember Donpa and Dodonpa, but I couldn't remember. And of course, let's never forget the best one, Todonpa. Let's never forget oh that. Oh my God, Todonpa. Um, <laughs> but I couldn't remember Loompa. That being said, though, I'm pretty sure Donpa would be more than happy to adopt someone actually noble, unlike his shit son. Mm, that reminds me, actually, now that I got... Um, so I'm working on the script for that project that we're doing. And uh, mm -hmm. I'm wondering... I should be able to go to Loonpa now. I just got Mia, so I can't do the nice. fortress. But I should be able to at least go and get some dialogue from there. Before I cross uh, the bridge. Because all you need is Bappy, Frost to get into the town. Oh, to get into the town, but you can't talk to anybody, though, right? Yeah, you can. There are people to talk to, I think. I think there are people outside you can talk to. Right, but I can't remember. I thought if you talk to them, you get thrown out. I don't think. I don't think it's so. It's been so long. I think you only it's get thrown so out if you go to the fortress, but you don't actually get thrown out of the town itself. Right. Okay. It doesn't matter. Briggs, better thief anyway. I mean, well, we all know that. <laughs> Briggs and his son, Eolio! Oh, speaking of Eolio, um, his original name was actually Leo Leo. And for some reason, they cut the first L off when they translated it <laughs> into English. Leo, 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 get your adverbs here. Exactly! I was like, I'm like, his name was Leo the whole time? <laughs> that does make more sense, especially the fact that, you know, the bright red hair that he has. Yeah. I was like, fuck, like, dude. It, they could have just translated his name to, like, I don't know, Leon or something. Jeez. But that being said, I do never grow tired of saying, Eo Leo. <laughs> Eo Leo. Like, I always have to yodel his fucking name just because it's so fun to do. It is, yeah. God, that that Let's Play was like eight or nine years ago already. Shit. Anyway. I need to get back to doing the Lost Age on uh, on my channel even. So, but I wanted, I wanted to try to at least finish this, maybe, and Costume Quest. Because Costume Quest only has like one stream left, probably. So... Even if you are honorable, a thief is a thief, right? Okay, listen. He, 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 he's breaking. We're getting through to him. It's working. There are two embassies in this one building, huh? Well, they used to be a single country, so it's understandable. So with them trying to make up, does it mean that they'll become a single country again? If they do, I hope they'll always be good friends and never fight again. You've never dealt with inter intercontinental politics, have you? Nope. Any peace has usually lasted all of maybe five years at most. <laughs> uh, I throw out that as a joke, but it's like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, topical. <laughs> Before that can happen, I believe we need to solve this case. Otherwise, nothing will come of these gestures, not even friendship. Okay. What about the statue? Okay, here's here's the okay, base one. about this piece of evidence. Huh? <laughs> May I really have it? Hmm. But you know, as the Yatagarasu, it'd be bad if I couldn't get this by myself. Sorry, but I have no intention of giving you this piece of evidence. Oh, really? I guess I misunderstood. I want her dress pattern as a wallpaper. Not in my room, but just... In general. In a room. I like it. I like I the like clouds. I've had a... Yeah. I feel like I've had a very similar conversation with someone else before. Okay. 
Can you try and steal this dead body? No. Apparently she does want to try and steal this dead body. She really wants to steal this dead body. Okay, she should- I was gonna say, she should have something to say about this. This is... Your father, Fern Faraday. He had planned to use this as evidence in that trial seven years ago. But he was killed Kay by it. Me a lot of... What? Kay reminds me a lot of Marisa Kurosame today. I don't know why. I could see that, yeah. I'm going to take a guess and say Danganronpa character. No, um... Toho. Uh, oh, duh, Marissa, yes, okay. Doi. But he was killed That's by it when it was turned into he... a weapon, huh? Cusses, I shouldn't have made her recall such a tragic event. How could I have been so careless? Uh, that's the problem when it is that you read so much Japanese stuff and you have long since gotten to a point where I don't read names of characters. I've been reading all day about this one of two gals in an otaku, and I can tell you Otaku's Kun's nickname. And that's it. Uh, don't I ask love me it. the action. Don't actually give me, ask me the names of any of the three main characters because I don't fucking know. They have the dark names. Skin gal, the cool gal, and the otaku. That's all I got for you. Oh, the cool gal slash closet otaku who is best girl. Please. I can't say that. Tan gal is also really fucking great. Okay, so this is useless. Blah, blah, it's blah. the uh, counterfeit bills. The counterfeit bills next? Okay. Alright, so I guess these counterfeits were made with Bobbily's ink! Come to think of it, I remember hearing on the news the other day that the Republic of Zhang Fa, where these bills are coming from, is in an economic mess! Welcome to 2023. Exactly. Have you heard of it's inflation? Have you heard of any country existing post-COVID? <laughs> it's common knowledge that money rules the hearts of men. But no, but who knows what darkness truly lurks in the hearts of men? The shadow knows. Heart of darkness. And when that money turns out to... Huh? Heart of darkness. Like the book. Oh, I was referring to the old TV show, The Shadow. Oh, okay. I think it's like a 50s show, I don't know. <laughs> and when that money turns out to be fake, all-encompassing confusion is the result. Ha! And that's when the Yatagarasu makes her stand! I'm going to use my iron fists of justice on each and every counterfeiter! You'll see! I'm a throw hands. <laughs> I'm a throw hands with these bitches. <laughs> I appreciate your sense of justice. However, I'd appreciate if you wouldn't go running into the heart, the heart of any more raging fires. Mysterious as the dark side of the moon. <laughs> uh, yes, Mr. Edgeworth. I'll try. That face is saying she's lying. Oh yeah, she's lying. Oh boy, fire! <laughs> oh, I love fire! Okay, nothing about this one. Is the thing about this stat- Okay, nothing about this statue. How about the spear? Nope. Samurai dogs! Oh my god! <laughs> It's a box of samurai dogs, right? Ah, oh, but see, I'm a Jammin' Ninja fan. I think this is old dialogue, but... So, while I would love to have one, I'm going to be strong and resist the urge. Get out of my embassy right now. Oh, you still love me. I cannot be seen with someone who's a Jammin' Japan. <laughs> not steal samurai. We have our factions, we stick to them. Oh my god. 
Edgeworth the diehard fan. <laughs> you think we're in the Barbalese Alabastian embassy? No, this is no, absolutely not. This is this is the German ninja steel samurai embassy. Oh my god. And we have our sides of the buildings. You go over to your side of the building. Edgeworth is on Twitter with the other stands. <laughs> He has an anonymous uh, Instagram full of just liking Steel Samurai fan art. He 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 runs the fandom web page in his off time. He controls the wiki page. Mm. <laughs> That's his Rose hobby. Rose says Linz. Huh? Rose says Linz. Oh, I still don't have your other chat open. <laughs> the Twitch one. Yeah. Uh. But yes, yes, Robbie. Well, then, how about we slowly enjoy them after we crack this case, and then we can crack over, crack open a cold brewski. You're still seventeen. I know what I said. <laughs> I know exactly what I said. Yay! <laughs> now I can see what you have to say. <laughs> okay, fine. You twisted my arm. Let's indulge. <laughs> She's adorable. I love her. Uh, yes. I do remember this. Yes. Bless nuclear daughter. Oh, you sent a thing. Okay, I will have to look at it after the stream, probably. Is it is it art of Nuclear Dotaru? Okay, is not happy about this picture. Hmm. I've only got one thing to say to this. The real Yatagarasu can't fly through the air. I should know. Did I somehow skip over the photo of Yadagarasu? Did, Jeez, did, okay. did, did you? I was already on the third page, down to only four items left. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, alright, well, let me look at Ellipses. it anyway. Oh, okay, well, that's all there was there. Okay. Uh, crossbow arrows, yeah, nothing here. Stay at the fire. Uh... Videotape. Oh, videotape has something. Okay. So nothing on the wire and the nope. other stuff in between that? Okay. The entire top row is not up. Okay, the videotape here. Okay. Uncle Bad entrusted you with this piece of evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. I think he believes that you're the one who will finally bring the truth to light. And I believe in you too, Mr. Edgeworth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if that was his response, just okay. Oh my god, that's comical. Nothing on this thing. Oh, and that's it. Okay. And nothing on the wound. Okay. Cool, cool. All right. So that's it right. with K. Now we can look at things! Alright, what do you want to look at first since I, I had us talk to Kay? Painting! Sitting here uh, off to, slightly to the left. Uh, this this thing? The, the, the thing that's on the easel, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Kay Kay. This was taken just... This was taken just before the two ambassadors gave their bou bouquets to the Steel Samurai. Wait, is it just my imagination? Or is there something in this picture that I've seen before? Uh... The, 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 the flowers, the persimmons every, or whatever. Every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Uh... Hang on, I have to actually look at my screen. I think it's... I think it's this. What is this? Oh, the flower? Yeah, I looked at the flower. Yeah, I looked at the, the flower in the, um, in Alba's bouquet. 
It appears to be a bouquet of Persian cyclamens and roses. Wow! You even know the exact species? I never would have figured you for an expert on flowers. My husband likes flowers. It's all because of those flowers. <laughs> it's all because of those flowers that old lady sends me every month. <laughs> Just look at me. I sound like some sort of botanist. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Oh my god. <laughs> Shit, that's where I put my clothes. <laughs> that's funny. So, um, what exactly is this yellow flower here? That one? I'm not sure. What? You don't know? What kind of botanist are you? I'm, I'm, I'm literally I'm not. not a botanist. <laughs> I am literally an attorney, a prosecutor. <laughs> okay, oh, but I was good. positive you moonlighted as a botanist on the side. I mean, you're obviously better at that job than this one, so... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> as far as I can recall, I've never seen a flower like this before. It's a bomb! I've seen the shapes. <laughs> I found the sauce of the ticket! <laughs> it's a pipe bomb! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> right? Yes, we need botanist right now! <laughs> <laughs> but I feel as though I've seen this shape somewhere before. Well, we have to actually deduce something? But what else can we look at? Alba's look at face! Oh, Alba's face. Okay. I can't believe he was pretending to be a harmless old grandpa! Talk about deceptive! I bet he doesn't even have children! Right? I bet he doesn't even have grandchildren! <laughs> I don't suppose anyone expected him to change that drastically. I bet he's thinking of something evil behind that cheery smile. Okay, please try to remain calm and focused on the here and now. No, can't do it. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, I got all worked up there. Do you well, think his do you think his breakfast consists of evil prunes? <laughs> Not evil prunes. <laughs> oh my god. Well, the only way we're going to be able to steal the truth is if we keep on investigating. Larry's right. face. I want to look at Larry's face. Larry's face? Okay. There's a troublemaker standing there smack in the center making two peace signs. Wow! The steel samurai stands out even more than the two ambassadors in this picture. Oh, hey! The person playing the Steel Samurai is one of your friends, right? Don't even joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have no idea who he is. <laughs> Wait, but you just said he! You knew which gender he was, so you must know him, right? I beg that you please refrain from talking about that person with me ever again all right i'll ask your husband later <laughs> he'll give you the same answer we are not affiliated with him in any way it's funny because he would <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> nick would be like god damn it i knew larry was involved in this <laughs> uh all right well let's do out um just coaching yeah, nah, uh, no, the other no. ambassador, whatever the fuck his name is. Because neither of us I can, can remember for whatever reason. Mr. Pamphlets. Yes, Mr. Pamphlets. No, he, like. He Polano! Up, uh, Thank you, Kay. Yeah, no, he calls up, uh, right, and is like, I've had a day. Well, I just ended up solving a murder case. Well, it started by running into Larry, and Nick's just like, nope, 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 don't want to know anymore. Nope. Yep. <laughs> Uh, you said you said enough, Edgeworth. I uh, I do not need any more information. <laughs> I'm having a good day so far. I do not need to hear any more about this. Ooh, you had cod. Was it fried or was it um, you know, grilled, baked? 
I'm assuming you said grease, since you said greasy, it was fried. So was it fish and chips? Okay. Man, I haven't had fish and chips in a while. I should get myself some kind of food because my dinner was small and that was several hours ago. I had a pretty big lunch. Um, I had Korean uh, with my boss and it was, it was, it was fine. I mean, it wasn't as good as like, you know, my favorite Korean restaurant back home, but considering I was in DC, it was pretty decent. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, but it was, did you order fish and chips or was it just like fried cod filet? Cause normally it's like, even if you don't get the chips part, they still call it fish and chips. I've still never had... Um... Okay, just fillets. Okay, cool. Oh, I love hush puppies. Yeah, I would get... If I could, I would get hush puppies instead myself. So, that was a very good choice. I've never had uh, hush puppies. Oh my god, they're so oh. good. It's just like fried oh, dough, but it's so good. The Grumps video of like Thanksgiving last week was the first time I think I've ever even seen hush puppies. I just need to make some. I've made, um, I've made fritters before, um, which are similar to, like, hush puppies, depending on what type of fritters you're talking about. So, I just have to make some. That's all. Mr. Polano has a really great smile, don't you think? I bet he was really happy that they were going to become Kadofia again. In before oh, Polano but... is actually the villain himself. <laughs> They're both evil. <laughs> Perhaps, but instead he became... They're both politicians, hello. I mean, facts, but like actually evil, not just like politician <laughs> evil. Like a murderer. <laughs> well, you know, that's... Never mind, I take that back. <laughs> Never mind, I take that back. I just answered my own argument. <laughs> right? I just answered... <laughs> I just refuted my own argument. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps, but instead he became the greatest victim in today's case. An ambassador like him who is always thinking of his country is truly really to be admired. Yeah, although this happened, I hope they'll be able to reunite the country someday. I hope so as well, but for that to happen, we need to solve this case first. We need to see to it that those who would harm the new Kadopia are locked away. And we will. All right. Anything else? Oh, we, we can got, look at his uh, bouquet. Yeah. That's what I was about to say. Is it different? Hmm. It oh, it is different. Okay. This... It seems that lilies are at the center of this bouquet with an accent on chamomile. Wow. Are you sure you aren't a botanist? I can totally smell the wonderful fragrance. Okay. Just a picture. Ugh, look, I know that! But it's nice to imagine things once in a while, you know? Okay, this is a picture. You're smelling paint fumes. Oh, well, that explains everything. I think I should go Please take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> take that, me! <laughs> Where's your sense of empathy? You can smell the fragrance of flowers from a photo. That's more like a hallucination. Uh, you, you don't have to be mean about it. Uh, if they were in more cases together, yes, I absolutely believe so. Especially considering the fact that they did do that one time in the first game already. <laughs> kind of, sort of, anyway. This, I mean, honestly, just saying that makes me really want to do Ace Attorney game. I'm wondering right, if, the re if the re-if um, the if the re-releases, you know, the the collections are gearing up towards that. I would hope so. Like we're gonna get like an actual like. I guess it would probably be like a switch, a switch game, right? Because. I mean, there's no other Nintendo console now at this point, so... Well, and there's Although technically no other handheld is what I'm saying, like... Yeah, true. But also, I guess it doesn't really matter, because all these collections are now coming out 
multi-console. Yeah, Not so it could be, I mean, it, of course it would release on all the other consoles, but I'm saying that, like, technically speaking, it would just be a platform release. Oh, yeah. Because we don't have any, like, handheld consoles besides the Switch. I forgot. That would be awesome. I don't think you said this. Oh, I didn't realize you said the thing about being mean. Hm, I did. Let's drop this before it's in full bloom. He said uh, bloom. Else? So I'm gonna assume you're correct about that one about the bouquet, Alba's bouquet. So I'm gonna hit the deuce on that. Connected to any of the evidence. Let me see. Did it work? We got. Oh. Well, no. I have to. I have to throw some kind of evidence at it first. Is it? Um, looks comparable. I don't know. I'm going to use the travel brochure, the embassy guide, just because that's the only thing that shows a picture of the flower. And I'm going right, to try that. I was considering. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. No, I figured it out. It's the knife. The knife's in the bouquet. The Alabastian knife? Did it, I, did it work? Maybe? And it's the alabaster knife you clicked, right? Yeah. Because if you look you at the it. handle, it looks like the flower. Babal's national symbol is a butterfly, and alabaster is the flower. It would appear that someone is employing the old hide a tree in a forest trick. Oh my god, I think I got it. Well done. What are you mumbling to yourself picture. about? Well done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just noticed what Robbie said. He said Bloom. Lynn's what? <laughs> Listen, okay? We were talking about fumes and flowers. <laughs> Wait, what? The handle on this knife. Ah! Maya, is that you? Sorry. <laughs> yes, it's the handle that was supposed to be on the blade that killed Mr. Cochin. The weapon that killed him was carried through the Theatrum Neutralis in the very bouquet Ambassador Alba was carrying. Yay! Uh, I figured it out! I down in my organizer. Woohoo! Commemorative photo discovered at the Theatrum Neutralis. Type photographs just to complete that screen. <laughs> Fair enough. The flower motif. It looks like one of the flower petals is missing. That's the reason why I noticed that it was the knife, is because one of the petals was missing. Ooh, and gotcha. take a look at the weapon itself! It's missing the exact same petal! But the knife is the, in this photo is most definitely the same as this murder weapon. Alabastian knife data updated in my organizer. Alabastian knife type weapons discovered at the Bobbley's Embassy Secretariat's office. I did a thing. Done all with that. Yay! You saved me because I was. I'm still down to just one health apparently. <laughs> okay. He doesn't have. They don't have anything new to add. 
So what happens if we ask Kay about the knife now? Because that's new. I think we changed the knife. Nope. No? Okay. She still just wants to steal it. Damn it, Kay. But... We talked about this. We can present the commemorative photo to her. Oh, nope. that's true. Okay. Never mind. Oh, it doesn't do anything? Never mind. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Whole lot of nothing. All right. Well... Edric, Edric, why are you staring at me like that? Apparently Edric, I stopped fa by facing towards a camera and now he's just staring at me like that. Um, I want to talk to the, uh, the guards. The gods? On the orders of Ambassador Alba, no one is allowed into Alabast. But I thought a lady with a whip passed through here not too long ago. She's from Interpol and had the proper paperwork. And she's scary. So while I was reluctant, I had to let her in. <laughs> Sounds like Francisca, all right. Besides, if I didn't, the whip of hers... You were right about her being scary. Yep. yep. I told you Definitely she was scary. Francisca. Okay, does he have anything else to say? No. Okay, he just says the same thing. So what about the oh, other the guard? Because guard. Oh, uh, oh, um, Gumshoe went that way. I'm sorry, but I don't really need to enter your country at this time. Right now, for a limited time here at the Bobbleese Embassy, we're offering the very special Experience of Terrified Fire's Ashes Tour. Oh my god. So, how about it? Shall I sign you up? Well, fine. Thanks. We have an investigation to run. God damn it, Polano. Alright, what are we checking next? I can't look at the flags. Uh... Because I tried. Uh, let's do... Since we're on this side, let's do this bouquet. This bouquet on the far right? Yeah. These flowers are sent by Global Studios. Global Studios? Yes, Kay, that's, that's exactly what, what I just said. Steel said. Samurai television show. Steel <laughs> Samurai? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the one played by someone I know called Larry. Larry? No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I was hoping... All great jokes come in threes. I was hopeful you'd finish that off. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. Yep. <laughs> they have been producing hit after hit recently, so the studio is being remodeled. Oh, I read about that in the papers the other day. That mascot of theirs is also getting a facelift too, right? Um, what's its name? You mean Mrs. Monkey? Yeah! I thought it was something like that. Wow, you really have a great memory. I I'm glad that they're repairing this monkey finally. After how many fucking years? Two or three, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's supposed to be Hollywood-based. Of course it takes forever to actually get anything done. Honestly, fair. If, it, if it's something they have to put money into, ugh. Fair. Huh. Never underestimate my powers of recollection. Uh, that case right. allowed me to be on the steel sever, I said. I will never forget that day. What do you want to look at next? We have the... Uh, uh, the monitor, we have more flowers. Sam, right, let's look at the... Oh, can't look at the monitor. Oh, nothing oh, no? I can look at. How about the phone? Yeah, you can't no, look at really? anything with the steel samurai. So, I guess let's look at the other flowers on the other side. Ah, if I stop getting stuck. Okay. There we go. Flowers are sent by a variety of people and businesses to celebrate the Goodwill event. Even the Steel Samurai received some flowers from the ambassadors. There are so many bouquets here. It's like a wedding ceremony. I believe the flowers for those are for a slightly different reason. What do you mean? This event was supposed to be like a wedding between Alabaster and Babal, right? I just really want to go to a wedding. Well, if I'm correct about the current year, we're probably, I think, just was legalized, so I think Bright and I can get married. Ooh, I would love to go. 
Can I be your flower girl? Please, Mr. Edgeworth, please! Pretty sure Wright also has a child who will fight you for that position. Well, but there's also the ring bearer. <gasps> Are you sure you want to put me in I'm charge of the sure rings? There's another girl who will fight you for that position. Well, then I'll just have to be the best. <laughs> the best what? The best iron fizz of justice. <laughs> Yeah, all right. <laughs> Actually, I yeah, best man, K. <laughs> Actually, I believe they're more in a state of divorce. Okay, let's be real. I'm pretty sure Francisca would be his best man <laughs> because she, she would just take that upon she... herself. Yeah, she would whip him until he agreed to let her be best man. Exactly. Larry doesn't get an invite. <laughs> Larry shows up anyway, let's be real. <laughs> Larry Larry shows up as uh as Nick's best man and Nick had no idea this was going to happen. <laughs> Edgeworth no, no. Edgeworth hired a bouncer at the door to keep all Larry's out. <laughs> and somehow Larry was still there. Like somehow he still got in. He hired Gumshoe for this reason. That was a mistake. <laughs> he hired Gumshoe for the bouncer. <laughs> Gumshoe, I told you not to let Larry in. But, sir, it's a wedding. How was I, how was I supposed okay, so to keep him out? <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go offline on the stream for about two hours. We gotta go. We gotta have some fan fiction go. Right? We'll <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me pull out my writing degree. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Francisco would be in a suit, and she would look fire. <laughs> yeah. Let me go ahead and open up all these writing documents I haven't touched in years. I mean, programs, not documents, but yeah. Oh. Uh... I believe they're more in a state of divorce. Okay, then. This event was supposed to be their remarriage ceremony. I suppose you could call it that. I really want to call it that. Are we just... Is that everything? Oh, we can't... We can't look at the... Yes, I know. I don't want to take another Oh, we can one. look at the backdrop. Uh, yeah. this back here? Very top left corner. Oh, yeah, okay. The very top left corner. The backdrop they use in the Steel Samurai stage show? Yeah, that one. Okay. It's a backdrop like she said just now today. I love the climax of that show! Steel Samurai Sushi Slice! That was the first time I'd seen that special move! But, well, the Jam and Ninja stage show's climax was much better, of course. Oh, is that the fact? Yes, please. This is everything I want. That scene where he sang for Princess Misola and gave her those hair sticks? I could totally feel the love there in my heart. Hmm. Perhaps the Jam Ninja is much more popular with female audiences? Wow, I was hoping, I was hoping for Edward to reduce himself to a child and actually get in this argument. Huh, maybe he has grown. <laughs> so I don't see anything else for us to analyze, so do we? Yeah, there's have nothing else for us to look at. Logic something? Yep, alright. Logic time. Alright. Somebody does want us to investigate. <clears throat> uh, boom and boom. Oh. Did you get it? No. But this is, I have to be careful because if I'm wrong about this, I will die. Hmm. That being said, let me just quickly go ahead and come back out of logic mode real quick and just go ahead and quickly save. Oh, I'll save too, why not? Just to be careful about this. Ah, oh, hell yeah, the music that's apparently playing right now is, I can't hear it, but the music that's apparently playing right now is Furio Tigre. Dun 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 Okay. 
Uh, okay, let me go ahead and now try this. I am going to test putting together Agitated Alba with the counterfeiting op. Just cuz. Nope! Hmm, the pieces don't fit together quite right. I've died. Oh! Uh... I guess I'll quickly read this myself real quick. <laughs> Are you still here? Are you still trying to force me to admit defeat? You people have no reason to still be here. Now, please leave. I'm afraid I can't do that. <laughs> if you won't leave on your own, I will have no choice but to force you out. Hold it! I don't believe we'll be meeting again. However, I will pray for your success. <laughs> <laughs> We're not through here yet. <laughs> Hello, brown sugar babe. Welcome Hi, to the brown stream. sugar babe! <laughs> Is this it? Colin died, so he's reading, uh... Thus the truth was lost for all eternity. Thus the truth. <laughs> Damn. Savage. It just closes the book. <laughs> that was it just. Thus the truth was lost. The end. Close the book. Yeah, I okay. failed my well, logic too, apparently. Not exactly a shining example of perfect line of logic. So, do we not have this then? What you do to do to? I did Alba and the re and the renovations, so let me do the counterfeiting and the renovations, I guess. Oh, okay. It, it that was the only choice we had left, and apparently that was it. When you've exhausted all other options, whatever remains must be the truth. Yeah. Thanks, Sherlock Holmes. Yep. Only one all truth right. prevails. Curious to see how this connects, but okay. Yeah, I mean, I figured, I thought we were going to use uh, him not wanting us to investigate something, but I guess that was the red herring for this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speak of red herring, you still, I still hope to one day see a stream of you doing Henry Sickman. Anyway, um, I don't even remember if I bought Henry Stickman for you yet. I might need to buy that for you. Merry Christmas. We well, you know that the counterfeit bills were printed using the embassy's press. But the necessary materials, such as the Bobbley's ink and paper, must have been hidden in a secure location. What do you think would have happened if the renovation had begun? Well, he probably had to find a better hiding place. Or get rid of it all. Right, so we can assume that the renovation was the cause of the plate and Bill's disposal. And the reason Mr. Cochin was killed as the ringleader of the smuggling operation... Based on what we know, who do you think was the one with the most to gain? The most to gain from the destruction of the evidence? Or by the renovation? What? I'm not sure what the question is. I don't want to just throw Alba's name in there just because fuck Alba. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, that's, that's why I'm sitting here. I'm like, is it the obvious answer? Or no, am I overthinking? I'm going to say Alba, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Did the thing go away? Yeah, it went away. Okay, good. It's the one person who has been erasing all evidence of the smuggling operation from both embassies, the co-conspirator who is mopping up Ambassador Alba. Ambassador Alba had a very strong motive to kill Manny Cochin. Motive to kill Cochin. Alba could conveniently place all of the guilt for the smuggling onto Cochin. Oh. Now we can connect these two. I mean, I assume so. I have to go die again. Nope, okay, it worked. The cause of <laughs> Excuse Alba's me, agitation. I must go commit die. <laughs> The cause of Ambassador Alba's agitation, the rotten treasure we may find, and the motive for killing Mr. Cochin. Miss Yu said it herself that she didn't kill anyone tonight. If we were to take her words at face value, then the reason for the Ambassador's nervousness can only be one thing. He didn't want us to discover the real circumstances under which Mr. Cochin was killed. Then you mean Ambassador Alba is the real killer? Wait, didn't we come to this conclusion earlier? 
But I thought the two of them were friends! Maybe, Maybe I just were, thought that we'd what? come to this conclusion because it was obvious as fuck. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. It's like we kind of just skip to the end. It's like, oh, maybe we're not actually there yet. <laughs> Oops. Maybe they were, but what if Mr. Cochin was the one who first betrayed their friendship? Oh, I get it. Wasn't Mr. Cochin pushing really hard for Mr. Polano to be ambassador after the reunification? I forgot all about that, by the way. Honestly, I've forgotten so much stuff, it's really hard for me to keep up with anything that's happening. I'm just like, let's just get to the end of this. This case is, like, literally the best case for Cusco's poison. Like, it's so <laughs> fucking long, it's nearly impossible to remember everything. Granted, of course, our several month long delays between streams does not help the situation, but... But also, the case itself is just long. The case contributes itself much. You know what? That after we finish this game, I just said. After we finish this game, like I want to see because you know people do long plays, right? I want to. Oh, I want to see how long this case is actually compared to like Rise from the Ashes, from somebody who no, didn't spend know. like eighty five years. In between times. You know, I can really look that up. Long play. Let me see. No. My soul. No. Yeah, well, I was going to I was going to do it play. after because um I didn't want if there were like spoilers and thumbnails or something. That's what I was worried about. Okay. Um I think it should be good, but let's see. So, uh, this one, Rise from the Ashes, starts... So, this whole long play video is 21 and a half hours long, which is already shorter than than all the time we've spent playing this one case. Um, right, see. but also tangent percent, so... Right. So, let's see. If that's approximately... Approximately 12 hours and 12 minutes to there, so... Nine hours and 20 minutes long, approximately, we could say, for uh, Rise from the Ashes. Okay. So, nine Let's hours just round and it to nine, versus... nine and a half hours. Huh? Let's just give it nine and a half hours, because I'm lazy. Yeah, 9. that's 5. reasonable. <laughs> this long play of uh, this first game is only seven, of Ace Attorney Investigations, only 17 hours. Hmm. Uh, so, let's see, let's see, let's see, so, Rise from, uh, not Rise from the Ashes, whatever the name of this case that we're currently on is, starts here, ish, so ten and a half, so, a little under seven hours. There's no so, way. So, no, just our tangent percent is really taking effect with this one, apparently, I guess. Oh, God. Oops. Well, oops. <laughs> it feels uh, a lot people longer. People what they pay for. Yep. That is true. <laughs> yes, and that is the real reason why he wanted to steal Alabas Primitive statue. So, Mr. Coach and I hired Damask 2 to go steal it for him. But when Ambassador Alba found out what he was up to, he killed Mr. Cochin? It is definitely a possibility at this point. Those two really were thinking of no one but themselves. I mean, as criminals usually do. But the question now is, we we how did he do it? We both had same thought, but we both changed the... We both had different uh, proper nouns there. Uh-oh. You went criminals, I thought politicians. Otherwise, the sentence was the exact same thing. Well, in this case, in this particular case, they're exactly the same, so... Yeah. <laughs> Ambassador Alba was in Alabast. But Mr. Cochin's body was discovered in Babal, right? Right, and that is what we must solve next. 
I swear, the fireplace had better come into play. The chimney better fucking it's, come into play. It's someday. gonna come into play at some point. It has to. That's been there since the beginning, and it's what I remember last stream screwed me up about getting the statue across, because I was thinking, ah, walking along the rooftop somehow involved. When it was like a fucking have... pulley system, essentially. Yeah, exactly. I believe we now understand why Ambassador Alba was so nervous and agitated. It must have something to do with where Mr. Cochin was killed. A place where the Alabashian ambassador was likely to meet the Babylese Mr. Cochin. The place where Ambassador Alba happened to have committed the murder is... Ugh. Hmm. Here in the Theatrum Neutralis? No? I notice you love a good mystery game, Glory. Oh, yes. I really do. It's my favorite genre. I absolutely love mystery games. I'm thinking I'm uh, I'm honestly thinking he was killed in Babal because why would he move the body? Why would he move the body? But how did he get over there? Unless yeah, well, unless yeah, we just fly out and talk about the chimneys. Yeah, that's anything. what I'm thinking. I'm thinking he went through the chimneys to get over there. I'm gonna say Babal. I mean, he could. With his beard, he could be an evil Santa. And I can't... I, I have plenty of health, so I could be wrong. <laughs> take that. You can take this risk. <laughs> oh, this area is really suspicious, don't you think? You really think so? Because I don't see anything odd about it at all! <sighs> I guess it's not related after all. Mr. Well, Edgeworth! If you keep doing that, Ambassador Alba is going to get away. Come on, let's see if we can't get hold of that treasure known as the truth. Agreed. Let's see what we can find. Okay, well then, he killed him in Alabas to move the body? That sounds way more complicated. Um, I'm gonna throw out Alabas. Nope, it's not. So, I'll be right back as I try and, like, Take skim that. through a bunch of dialogue. Really? He killed him in the Neutralis? So he killed him during the Steel Samurai show, I guess? Oh my god. With Can I, like, skip this somehow, please? No? Oh my god. Yeah, I will, like, eventually, I do want to play more, like... I mean, I already play plenty of mystery games on here and, like, you know, visual novels, but... Um, I had started watching Game Grumps playing the Nancy Drew games again, and I was like, I kind of really want to play those on stream. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you mean, like, the Hidden Object games? Yeah. Well, fuck, I love me some Hidden Object. I play that. Because I used to, I used to do, um, I used to do I Spy books and things like that with my mom when I was a kid. No, and that's, that's what, basically what Hidden that's Object... What my... That's what my uh, mother and I were inviting you to on Thanksgiving was um, Mystery Case Files or Hidden Object Games just like that. Yeah, I, f I mean, I figured. That's why I was like, oh, I would be into this. But I was also just like, I am not feeling super dying. great. <laughs> I am dying. <laughs> I am currently dying. Send help. <laughs> oh goodness this is i'll wait for you to get back oh my god this this is not the newer versions where i can just hold down b and skip through dialogue i, I keep instinctively holding down b to try and skip through your vtuber mom looks like she just fell asleep oh that's because i'm looking at my phone <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> I gotta pay some more bills today before I go to bed. 
Gotta love bills. It's the first of the month. Yep. I wish all my bills were at the first of the month, but no, so I got one on the 6th, one on the 10th. But I have one bill on the 1st, so that's nice. I mean, most of my, not all of mine are on um, the 1st, but, like, my rent is, and then I just, because of that, I'll pay, like, some of my other bills that are due later in the month just early so that I don't have to think about them and they're paid. Right. Are you still stuck in the in the dying cutscene? No, I'm making my way back to I'm almost to where you are. Oh, okay. Cuz I had to still redo the whole logic sections. Oh, that's right. Okay. Happened to have committed the murder is it was a safe three the atrium neutralis. neutralis, yeah. Yeah, that thing. Makan Kosa Po. That one! What? The only place that makes sense is here, the Theatrum Neutralis. What? Here? The Goodwill event was being held here today, correct? So I mean, the only place that the both of them would have been in is here. I could take a moment if you still need to finish doing what you were doing on your phone. Uh Okay. No, we can keep we can keep going. I was just uh You can just Numa Numa dance until you're done. Oh my god, he can't did you see he came back? Oh, and did another like the twenty twenty three version? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah. he's he's he looked pretty good, you know? Yeah. I was like, oh he's doing well. Yeah, the entire no, no, internet was super so. stoked to see him. I mean, he's one of the oldest, like, internet, like, internet memes ever, so. Oh, yeah. He's an OG it, for sure. It does, it does hurt, though, seeing some of the comments on that video being like, I remember when I found this as a kid when it first came out in 2008. I'm like, bitch, it did not come out in 2008. It is old. It predates YouTube. Yes, it does. Yep. I can't remember if it was 2002 or 2004, but I know it's uh, for, it debuted on Newgrounds. Yeah. Uh, we're old. And then it was, and then probably was stolen by E Bombs World, if anyone remembers that site. Well, I could see that. There were so many back then. When you think about it. What like flash step sites? Yeah, like flash and like video hosting websites. And I mean, there's still some now. Like Daily Motion still exists. You know, things like that. I think Vimeo still exists, even though I don't know anybody that uses Vimeo? it. Yeah. Uh, Vimeo does still exist uh, because until recently, Team Four Star was using it for like their patron, like exclusive, like early release stuff. Okay. Yeah, but remember when there were a ton um, of different like streaming sites before uh, yeah. before Twitch um, finally just sort of. Do you remember Ustream? I do, I because I used Ustream. <laughs> I didn't use JTV. Uh, oh my god, I forgot about JTV. No, I tried using Ustream, I think, maybe twice to do Banjo, Tui, or whatever, and uh, it was horrible. Well, Twitch is um, JTV, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure um, Twitch is JTV, like Justin TV, no. and then they just rebranded. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Now, back in the day, I actually discovered Newgrounds because of one of those, like, flash theft sites. Because I'd end up just discovering the flash theft site. Yeah. I don't remember what the hell the name of the site was. I was right, uh, by the way. Twitch was touching. Justin TV. Well done. <laughs> um, but no, uh, back then, I ended up coming across a game called Sim Girls, if anyone knows what the hell that is. Fucking old as hell, early internet, uh sim day flash game um but i discovered that and played through it and it was an early version of it too so early that the ending cutscene was a separate flash video on Newgrounds. so i was successful clicked it and then it took me to Newgrounds. that's like oh well what is this whole site now and just oh, new grounds it's like oh i'm in heaven ah new grounds ah going. corin Welcome, Corin. Hi, Corin. Hi. Yes, welcome to the stream. I can wave at you too over there now. <laughs> we 
We're so scuffed, but we actually got some things working. It's great. Yeah, it's all actually working great. Lindsay is a tall queen. I am a tall queen. So the only place to... You are, so I keep saying. Oh my Emphasis god. Emphasis on the queen part. Oh my god. So the only place that the both of them would have been is in here. But if that's the case, then everything changes! This theater isn't actually Alabastian land! So that wipes out one of those extraterritorial rights he has! makes logical sense, in which case it is a reason for us to investigate further. Oh my god, so long. Uh, Forever. Two and a half. Oh my god. Two and a half years. <sighs> I think the first one is March of 2021. When we start this. I, I promise we will finish this before we die. <laughs> <laughs> So what should we- oh. <laughs> So, what should we check out? Let's see. I believe we should check the immigration records for both Alabas and Babal post-haste. I don't know why my brain misread that as toothpaste for a moment there, but whatever. <gasps> toothpaste? Babal's records should be easy to obtain. However, the problem will be Alabast. Oh what yeah, it was- allow us to... It was before Robbie left. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I know that we did the original Ace Attorney trilogy all, like, boom, 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 summer of 2020. Yeah, because, I mean, it was, so. like, peak COVID. Um, I was working from home, like, every day. It was pretty fast. That's right. It would have been late 2020 because, that's right, the reason I was thinking March of 2021 is when we started this case. Ah, Okay. That's why that date was in my head, because I just looked out when the first stream of this case was. So. I wonder if they would allow us to see that record, despite the order to vacate. Objection! Oh, hi, Francisca! I'm afraid... Oh, but I'm already one step ahead of you, Maz Edgeverse. Franny. Don't fucking call me that. She just whips I him. I here... <laughs> <laughs> security footage from both Alabast and Babal. You would do well to take a look at this contents. Security footage jotted down in my organizer. Security footage. Type evidence. Received from Francisca Von Karma. Begrudgingly. <laughs> Begrudgingly. You move fast. A Von Karma strives to be perfect in every way. It's not in my nature to keep on retreating like this. I keep the joke I just thought of to myself. I I took the liberty of looking over the Babal investigation reports as well. From now on, you will make no excuse to back down or say that we can't solve this, this case. <laughs> I'm sorry about earlier. We won't be beaten, because my cute little subordinate is going to try his very best, isn't he? Aww! Hasn't she patronized me enough already for one for a lifetime? No, no, you see, Miles Edgeverse, I need to keep up this sh this performance because it is what many fans asked for. No, but that was super I cute. Am what I am what a lot of fans call mommy. Well, <laughs> I just, I think that I was mean, cute because, you know, in her own way, it's like, this is my brother and we will not be defeated. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just, it's a very Franny way of being like, you know, I support you. Right, but at the same time, I can also see the phrase, with her saying the phrase, cute little subordinate, I could see a lot of people, like, grasping onto that. Oh, God, That being please. said, uh... 19 That's her brother, please! <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on. Technically adopted brother, and this does start out of Japan. Oh I've read God. a lot of manga lately. <laughs> that would argue that it's okay. All right, stream's over. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have to get to the next to be continued. That's probably not uh, happening. We shall be victorious! <laughs> so, so this video contains footage from Alabas Immigration Screening Area. 
I really hope there's something in here that we can use. Because we kind of really need something. Oh, what? Oh, shit. What should I do? It's currently recording the newest episode of Seal Sam. I don't want to interrupt that with a new video. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, I know what I want to say. Well, hold on. There's no bar here, which means. Well, we might as well Looks start like we with. Uh, should we start with Larry? I kind of want to for flavor text. All right, let's do it. So that's 23. I've, yeah. Uh, oh, we uh, get to actually, uh, like, so pick something. Cool. Uh, God, there's a lot happening here. I feel there like. is a lot happening. I really want to, I really want to look at the wheelbarrow, though. The wheelbarrow? Okay. Yeah. Doesn't something about this lump shape strike you as odd? Huh? Isn't it supposed to be this shape? No, there's clearly something odd about the bulge. Edric, please. If only we had the push pot itself, we could compare and confirm my hunch. Uh, apparently that was important. Oops. Okay, I was... Push okay. card. Type evidence received from Francisco Von Karma. Next, let us check the footage from Babal's security camera. No! How is that the right answer? Are you for fucking real? Son of a bitch! There was so much we could have done! Now. There was so much! Fuck! <laughs> how did how did we jump? Reload! <laughs> how do we pick the one correct thing? Bullshit! Oh my god! This is just like one of my Japanese animes. <laughs> Next, let's check the footage from Babal's security camera. I hope it shows us something good. Can we go back? Please. Oh, phooey. There wasn't a single Rose. sign of a suspicious person or anything. Rose, you are not idiot. Stop. Stop. I smack you. I don't know. I don't know why that's the sound of my smack. <laughs> but. Okay. That right there is a contradiction. I actually did not pay attention to what Kay said. Huh? Did I miss something? It's that I nothing did. happened. Oh, okay. You didn't miss anything because there was nothing to miss. However, what is missing is the image of Mr. Cochin entering his own country. But wasn't his body found in Babal? Oh my god. Oh, the Did body was in the in the push cart. It's in the push cart, and then I wonder if he carried it through like the whole chimney fucking secret exit thing. God damn it. It would appear that the true face of our final puzzle has finally revealed itself. Zuko, you must look inside yourself to save yourself. Only then will your true self reveal itself. Investigation you complete. You want to talk for I've no idea what it says. Wait, what? I said a hurtful thing? Investigate what? Did I say a hurtful thing? I'm sorry, Rose. What'd I say? I apologize, Rose. I'm sorry. I don't know what it was I said that was hurtful, but... Still, I will fight you. You're not dumb. I'll fight you on that point, but if I said something hurtful, I do apologize for that. Uh, exclamation point. Oh, jeez, um... Uh-oh, oh, God, oh. Ambassador Alba. He brought the whole last military with him. So I forget who was doing this. Well, either way, you know, I'm sorry. I I'm Alba, but I just 
was responding. I wanted to res okay. respond to Robbie first. Gotcha. Uh, hold on. I have to remember how to do my weird Southern Baptist voice. Well, I, even still, I do apologize, Rose, for... I don't... Again, I don't know why I said that was hurtful, but I do apologize. I thought I had asked for you and your group to vacate the premises, Mr. Edgeworth. Now, I may just be a southern bunkin' lawyer, but I think I want to investigate you. Now, I might not be a smart man. <laughs> now, I might have voiced Foghorn Leghorn one time, but I say, I say. I said, I said, I said. <laughs> now, I might not have the overalls I need to pull straps on to pull this off, but I say. Okay. I haven't seen that movie, but that sounds interesting, Corin. Huh? Oh. Turn off. I, ha I have heard about it. I've heard it's good, but I've still never seen it. And oh, wait, is that what the movie's about? I just knew he was stuck in a terminal. Huh. I have so many I didn't movies know I have to watch. Uh, I've given up. <laughs> <laughs> I just watch what I want, and eventually I might run, like, come across, like, actually watch things that are on the back list, but otherwise I've just given up. <laughs> I mean, fair. Media consumption is so freaking huge at this point that it's like, I'm never, I'm... I'll be dead centuries before I actually consume everything I want to consume. Yeah, unfortunately, that is a fact. <laughs> oh, I just realized I was supposed to have my model up here this whole time. Oh, that makes sense. Because I was like, sense. wait a minute, I'm like, why am I overlaying? And then that, this was the whole point of me having this little, like, box here. Right. I'm so dumb. Can, can, can you move her a little more to the left? <laughs> Better? I'll let you know as soon as the stream catches up. Yes, much better. Okay, good. The asymmetry was bothering me. <laughs> I'm sorry. You will run your stream how I want you to run it, damn it! <laughs> oh my god. Well, you already did that uh, with the Resident Evil 5 stream where we spent half of it trying to get your face in it. <laughs> I swear I don't understand your implication here. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I plead the fifth. I plead the first through the 38th. Just all of them. Whatever covers my ass. Wait, him trying to get a job at the airport he's stuck in base. Yes, exactly. He's Death the Kid now. I understand that reference. I do understand that reference, even if I've only seen like five episodes of uh, Soul Eater. I do need to get... See, that was one of... That's one of the animes on my backlog, too, is I need to finish that. I never finished it. Jega had got me started in it uh, a couple years back, but... Um, we got, I think, like five episodes in, and uh, at least I think it was five. I don't know. Yes, I really enjoyed it. I just never finished it. There's, I mean, shoot, I haven't even caught up on Spy Family either. I'm a dumbass. Hold on, give me a moment. Because that's right. That's my problem is I don't watch anime. But I do read manga. Hold up. So... Yes, because I need another manga added to my library of over 4,000. Well, there you go. Boom. Oh, only 113 chapters. Okay. That's better than, uh... That's better than, like, I've got also Yu Yu Hakusho. And I was Yu gonna Yu say, I'm like, there. please no. read Yu Yu Hakusho. I need to read, I need to read Yu Yu Hakusho again. Because I'm probably just gonna do that yeah. instead of watching the Netflix show. I'll, like, start the first episode and I'll be like, I'm just, I'm just gonna go read the manga again or watch the anime again. The manga is fun to deal with because it's been a long time since I've read a 90, like, a manga that old. Yep. 
So the art style is just like, wow, this just reeks of pre-2000s. <laughs> yes, Metal Gear Solid! When, uh, when, uh, Jason and I were together, that was one of the things that he did, um, was I had never played a Metal Gear Solid game, so he sat down and we marathoned all four of the games. I mean, he played them, but it was, yeah, he sat, he sat down and we played all four of them. Then, because the, this was before five came out. Yeah, I now own because I own that Metal Gear Solid collection that came out on Switch, which apparently I've been told doesn't function well, I guess, whatever. But I still have never played a Metal Gear game of any I kind. mean, I think it'll be good enough, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, if yeah, anything, it's probably purpose, just sure. gonna play like an emulated version of the game, so it's not like it's that bad. Right. Doesn't have to run perfectly, so long as I can play the game probably three or four years when I get around to it. Exactly. <laughs> Actually, I know I should let you know that this theater sits on my country's soil. You've had your fun, and I've enjoyed our little game. I dare say game. that you've even achieved a new high score. This is anything but a little game, holy shit. I know, right? However, once you've recorded a score, that same game can never be replayed again. Bro. Um, what? No. That's... No. That's, that's not... That's not how... Anything works. works. I like, became a master of fucking Donkey Kong because I replayed that same game again and again. That's not even how, like... Sports works. There's Do you understand? Kind of, can't what? Think of any kind of game that that could be applied to, what he said. Yeah, that's the one that I have too. I have the Legacy Collection that was on PS3. That's what we ended up playing. Uh, we played that, and um, instead of playing original Metal Gear Solid 1, uh, we played the Twin Snakes version on the GameCube, because... Um, Jason actually had that copy of the game. Right? This man uses hacks. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Your game is done, and it's game over. No, I get it now. You see, you need to be educated in what is called a randomizer because it doesn't matter how many times you play you will never play the same game twice uh okay that's fair rose oh uh, yeah I get, okay that makes sense to be fair, so apparently no we did voice. not understand what he was saying to us I partially did, but I just went Donkey Kong, and that's all I could think of in terms of old arcade games. And now I'm thinking like Pac-Man, Gradius, uh, more Pac-Man, uh, fucking Sinistar. It's like, oh yeah, those ones actually make sense. If I think I, I was thinking solely Donkey Kong, because like apparently that's the only arcade game that exists in my head. So I was thinking like you know I play I used to play Soul Calibur, uh, Super Monkey Ball. Um... What else Hell did yes. I play at the arcade? Well, DDR. Racing games. Ed Tokyo Drift, I guess. Um, which yeah. Soul Calibur? What? Which Soul Calibur? Uh, two, actually. Okay, so what you mean to say is that you used to play Soul Calibur 2. Yes. Yeah, because <laughs> I think... I think they used to have Soul Calibur 1, and then the Soul Calibur 2 machine had, like, just come out. And I never played I the to... first one. I, that's the only one I haven't played. I would love to play the first one, but I'm not buying a Dreamcast for that shit. Yeah, pretty much. No. Objection. Where do you think you're going at this time of night? After admitting to my crime, I was overcome with regret. 
So I am heading to the airport. Now to return home. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Star Fox. I was waiting for that. <gasps> Corin, you lucky bitch. I want to try Soul Calibur 1. Is it fun? <laughs> You have the you have the actual like original Dreamcast version, right? And I have two, three, four. Oh wait, I don't think I have I don't think I have five actually. I've got six. And if there's anything after six, I have no idea. Was four the one that had Darth Vader? I think that was five. Was it five? Okay. Yes, so. that's so cool. Three's my personal favorite just because I fucking love playing as Zas Alamal. I love my bro Zas Alamal. Oh, wait, there are still too many issues we need to discuss with you. Ah, oh, that's sick, Corin. Oh, uh, I didn't know you had it custom painted. That's so cool! That's really cool. Well, now you have your now you have your fight stick too, your customized fight stick. It's not for Dreamcast, but you know what I mean. <laughs> you can't stop me, Mr. Edgeworth, and you know it. I know I can't, but she can. Just Francisca first out of the tower. <laughs> yep. Arg. Who said hello? Hold it? Oh, it's Polano! Was I Polano? Uh, who took over Polano? I, I think don't remember did, which one of us took over Polano. I don't remember what voice you did for him now. Oh, I think I gave I think I gave him the surfer voice. <laughs> That's right. Please, may I have a little bit of your time, Ambassador Alba? That'd be chill. <laughs> That'd be super chill, Holy bro. Holy shit. How long has it been since you talked to yourself in one of these? It's been a while. Oh, man's is fucking sweating. <laughs> Ambassador Polano. Even just a teeny tiny bit is fine with me. The already strained relationship between our countries is in a precarious situation, you know? Very well. If you insist. I will play just one more round with them and see what they want. Like, whoa, oh, dudes, bro. <laughs> oh, there are adapters, so it does work with it? Oh, that's so cool. God damn it, I lost my voice. Let's hold on. That's okay. I'm uh, I'm enjoying listening to the uh, the Royal Palace music from Golden Sun right now. <gasps> Yay! That's what this reminds me of. Oh yeah, it does. I agree. Not that they'll Not get that any fun. can hear it. It no, but like I can hear it. I because I was just doing um the Lord McCoy cutscenes while I was working on the script, so I can hear it in my head. How could you? I have to read, Beats! Motherfuck! Son of a bitch! Oh. <laughs> uh. Well, I mean, I can make it easy for you and do all the voices while you can't see. No, that's cheating. Alright. At least I didn't have to say this one. This is actually you for once. Oh, did you read the Alba line? I did. Oh yeah, I first. did. Oh, well. I said I said not that they'd get any further. Gotcha. Ambassador Polano. I cannot read chat, by the way. Mr. Edgeworth! All I wish for is the normalization of relationships between our two countries. But there is one person standing in the way of that dream. I almost said cream, by the way. 
standing in the way of me and my delicious sour cream. <laughs> Listen, I have this Bavarian cream in my office that I've been dying to eat, but it's like 2 a.m. and I'm not supposed to have sugar after 9 p.m. But I never obeyed what my mommy said anyway, so like, fuck it. <laughs> I'm an adult! I run a country! <laughs> I do what I want! You can't tell me what to do anymore, mom! <laughs> <laughs> you just unload so much baggage on <laughs> At like 2 a.m. He just unloads everything on Edgeworth. Edgeworth is like, I I did not sign up for this. <laughs> I I I don't know what's happening right now. I'm not your therapist. You should go talk to your I'm, therapist. There are very few things in this world that scare me. But I am scared right now. <laughs> uh, trust me, I need to be in therapy myself. I'm not qualified to I, handle I, this. I have an old lady that stalks me. I, I, I have. A, I can recommend you a good therapist. They've helped me with that. They haven't helped me get help her get her to you know obey her restraining order, of course. But they've helped me deal with the back the. the repercussions of that. She really should be in prison, so what then. Does the, <laughs> <laughs> what does the... You can't put her in prison. She's a cop. Uh, <laughs> ha ha! What does the no. blindest thing do? <laughs> oh, God. What I... does the blindness redemption do, by the way? Uh, I have What's to take my glasses action? off. Oh. Oh, yeah, I've seen you deal with that. That's not good. Yeah. I... <laughs> I believe in you. You'll do us right. Of course, that means if everyone could actually see a face, that would mean that uh, we're doing the Barbie trope of let them actually discover you're beautiful. Oh my god. So I just, I love that moment from the Barbie movie. I haven't seen Too it yet. I want to watch it, but every time I think about watching it, I remember that we were supposed to have like a family movie marathon for Thanksgiving and I missed it. So they didn't do it. So oh. I feel bad watching it. Before Girl, I can watch it with the whole family. Some night where we can watch it together. I'll, I'll show it to you. Uh. I know, I want to watch it. Also, I dropped my stylus. Rip. Well, at least it's your big fucking stylus. I forget what you called it. The Master Sword! It is actually the Master Sword, by the way. Ah! Sick! Oh, I got oh, the it. The little opener, that's the Master Sword. I, also I got actually it. just have the Master Sword, but... Oh, no. Ah! My charger. <laughs> Plot okay. twist. Polano has no therapist because he is the therapist. Well, Corin, that's why he has no therapist, because he is a therapist. No one needs therapy more than therapists. Yep. Exactly. Even my previous two therapists agreed with me that it's like, I really do need therapy as well, but we're not talking about that right now. We're here talking about you. We're not here talking about me. Uh, I miss my first therapist. She was... It's a shame that she's not like a full, like permanent therapist she's just one who helps you find one to be your permanent therapist but ah uh, she was fucking great i wish i could talk to her more <laughs> i have to get one actually i have to make a psych appointment um i just want to get an evaluation to see if uh now that i'm older if um you know i'm presenting more of like, I don't know, bipolar or OCD or something. That runs in the family. So. So I'm like, I feel like bipolar. I have these things, but I've just been managing for so long that I'm like, maybe it's just, you know. I've just been managing for so long. There's no point. I've taken a reprieve from my current therapist just because uh, I started seeing her because of anxiety from work. But I haven't. I end up like stopping work just after seeing her, and so we had like nothing to talk about. So it's like we just want rather than schedule. Like we keep pushing these further and further out. We just want to like take a break, and I'll just reach out to you if I need to. And she's like, yeah, sure. So it's like, okay, cool. Because there's just nothing to talk about. It's like, why am I? Why do we keep like? try to shuffle around each other's schedules when is that we just come in it's like so how you been cool cool 
Um, I got nothing. I've chilled at home and enjoyed myself. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for your vote of confidence. <laughs> Why does that make me laugh? Now then, I don't know what, what is it you wanted to ask me about? I didn't even get the voice in, in really, because I was, like, trying to read the fucking screen. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, now then, what is it you wanted to ask me about? That was a little bit closer. I do have a... Oh, I, oh wait. I do have a, a... Oh, it says flight. Okay, I thought it said right. He was like, I do have a right to representation. I say, I say, I say, I say. God damn it. I do have a flight to catch, after all. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to limit you to just one question. Beat says this is why they stole the glasses. God damn it, every time. Well, good, I That's get to put them better. back on now. <laughs> Aha, now That's I can more. read chat. <laughs> <laughs> In the That's way of cream, enough. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have been sufficiently trained in the ways of cream. Yes. Oh. Oh, God. I don't know if I should share that joke I read the other day. It made me laugh so hard. I was... It's Cream the Rabbit running up to Shadow the Hedgehog. I already hate that I'm about to say this. It's her running up to him going, Cream the rabbit, cream the rabbit. And he goes, Why are you running around just shouting your name? She goes, I'm not. All right, stream's like, over. Oh. <laughs> and just then Shadow's face just being like, Oh dear God. So it's like, Oh God, that's horrendous. I, mm. <laughs> I mean, on I'm gonna be honest, you can, and I wouldn't be mad. I would just be, you know, performance mad. Um. But I was gonna say, Corin, yeah, finding a good therapist is extremely hard because, you know, they have their own, they're supposed to be unbiased third parties and, well... That's asking a lot of some people. Oh, you can't do it anyway. Oh, do I have it on cooldown? Reward is on, reward is on cooldown. It'll be back in 20 minutes, 25 seconds. So, um, thank you, uh, Day, because that was, uh, that was her who reminded me to do that. Bless. Dang it. So in 20 minutes, you guys can take my glasses away from me. <laughs> That's more than enough, because I only have one question anyway. I want to hear your alibi about how you couldn't have killed Mr. Manny Cochin. Ho, I see. What you seem you to have a... Uh, what? What the fuck did you just call me? I called you a ho. I call it like I see it. Here in the Only Southern Alabastian <laughs> Church. <laughs> Only, <laughs> Only one man may call me that, and you are not him. <laughs> you see, in the Southern Alabastian Church, we don't take too kindly to those kinds of people around here. And this is why <laughs> you're going to federal prison. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put you in the worst block possible. You seem to have a good hand this time around. This should be fun. This really is the very last chance we have to bring him down. I won't allow even an atom-sized contradiction to slip by. All right. Testimony, Ambassador yeah. Alba's alibi. Let me read this real quick. Let's see. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's... I totally understand that, Corin. That's really hard. That's valid. Definitely neither of those... Those things are definitely... Neither of those things are things anyone necessarily wants to hear, so... Can... I'm sitting here thinking... Can therapists Especially not if it's something... prescribe drugs? Mm -hmm. That's like an uh, actual yeah. question, because I'm pretty sure it has to be a psychiatrist or a psychologist. It depends on what level of, like, degree they have. Because um, my therapist was able to... Um, she, uh, she was able to prescribe what the okay, hell. Okay, yeah, psychiatrists do. Okay, that's what I thought. It was an anti anxiety med. I forget what the Was hell it like it was Zoloft called. or something? Or like. No. And it definitely wasn't brand name, whatever it was. Um, oh, okay. So it was probably a Pam. Oh, I can't remember. It probably ended in Pam. Yeah, I'd have to go back and look at my old records. In or my... Peen. It either ended in P-I-N-E or Pam, usually. Those are the common ones. Right. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Psychologists can recommend but not prescribe. Similar to, like, a uh, therapist if you're not seeing, like, a, like, one of those two. Yeah, she did initially end up prescribing it, but then um, my primary, uh, primary care doctor ended up, she ended up, uh, prescribing the follow-up ones after that okay that makes sense and then i slowly weaned myself off as i no longer had work to go to so <laughs> yeah so i might i might make an appointment with a psychologist instead of a psychiatrist then because i don't think i need to be put on meds but eh i've just been managing for so long so Uh, neither. Buspirone. It was Buspirone was what it was. Haha. -ha. Oh, okay. I knew I still had the bottle sitting in this garbage that never gets emptied. <laughs> yeah, I'm unfamiliar the with that one. Garbage takes forever to fill up, so it never gets emptied. So <laughs> the two Mood. bottles of previous are still just sitting in there. Frankly, I still don't understand why I am being placed under suspicion here. Under your hypothetical scenario, Mr. Cochin and I were fellow smugglers. But to get to the point, I was in Alabas the whole time. Okay. So it's simply not possible for me to have killed him in Babal. That is my alibi. U-G-L-Y, you don't have no alibi. You ugly. Hey, hey, you ugly. So that is your alibi. No, that's not it. That is correct. It's simply not possible for me to have committed a crime in Babal. I just simply wasn't there. Now that we clear that up, I appreciate it if you would move out of my way. Hold it! <laughs> I, I said hold it. I heard you. I heard you the first time. I might be slow, but I'm not deaf. What is it this time? I thought I told you I'd only a allow one question. Hmm. You did, but you still have yet to really answer my one question. What? Until you tell us the truth, I will refuse to budge an inch from where I'm standing. Now see, that's just semantics. Huh. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> I'll play with you just a little longer. Maz Edgevus, as my subordinate and representative of this country's prosecutors, Rip him a new one. You are forbidden to lose. Uh, same thing. Yeah, same thing. 
Of course. That is something I've understood from the start. That guy's the one who ordered my father killed, isn't he? Yes, I believe so. Murder that bitch! I mean, the goal of the first Yatagarasu was the capture of the smuggling ring's leader. My father and Uncle Bad, who is currently in prison and probably going to be executed. Their legacy will live on through me! So that's why we've just got to catch him, okay? I like to imagine that because he brought in that, uh, like that mini army with him, a lot of them have not been present for anything that's happening, so they're just overhearing all this going, what the fuck did we walk in on? Right? It's like, um, can I, uh, well, can I take leave and go home? I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to be implicated in this. Like, I don't want to be involved in any of whatever this is. This sounds like, like this an international incident, and I don't get paid enough for this shit. Like, a lot of them are just, but they're all just, like, stuck standing there in position because, you know, they're soldiers, and so they're just having to stand there just basically sweat and being like, what the fuck? Yep. We win, I promise. Now, Ambassador Alba, let's have at the truth now, shall we? <laughs> no matter how many times you ask, my answer remains the same. Rebuttal. Ambassador Alba's alibi. Frankly, I still don't understand why I am being placed under suspicion here. Hold it! Wait, when did I get my health back? Oh yeah, I, I thought you had noticed it earlier, but we got a full health refill when we finished the investigation. I didn't get the full health refill, but... I'm oh, well, I d back. okay, I did then. I have legs to stand on again. <laughs> I can afford to make mistakes. I can afford to fuck up. <laughs> one more thing, just checking one thing. Okay. Where are we? Oh! I finally looked at what Rose okay, sent me. Oh okay. my god, she looks so cute! Being the leader of a smuggling ring while taking all the duties of ambassadorship, don't you think that the combination is more than enough reason for suspicion? Then there's the matter of the crossbow arrows in the primitive statues. Oh, jeez. Oh, damn. He aggro as fuck. Also, can- <laughs> can you object to that? You're- okay, fine. You're an ambassador, we'll- we'll give you this small amount of leniency, but- He's not even a lawyer. He's not even a lawyer. <laughs> he doesn't even go here! <laughs> she doesn't even go here! <laughs> oh... All of that is nothing more than your flights of fancy. What do you mean by that? Bitch, uh -huh. I said what I said. I meant I said what I meant, and I meant what I said. Under your hypothetical scenario, Mr. Cochin and I were fellow smugglers. Hold it! <laughs> <laughs> I like that I actually saw you do the episode. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> when the hand when the hand tracker decides to actually work <laughs> for once <laughs> this 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 was actually the reason why I bought it was so that when I do things like that because I do that when I talk I talk with my hands you can actually yeah. see it when it wants to work it's not a hypothesis earlier we proved it to be what happened <laughs> Well, let's leave that one. Oh, let's leave that to one side for now. No, I would prefer if you would just fucking answer the question. 
Anyway, because it doesn't change the fact that I have no motive. Oh, so you really had no reason to kill Mr. Cochin. I would love to watch you stream again, Corin. It would be so much fun. And you have to, um, you have to let me know when we're going to do uh, Final Fantasy as well. Yes! It's so much fun! It's super fun, because you could commission one, too. Um, or you could make it, I mean, you know, eventually I'm going to commission one, but this was just, like, the first thing I could come up with when I was making it. And I think it looks okay. You know, for the time being. I'll commission one eventually. Ah. Ow. Okay. If you want to suppose I had one, then why not? I'll indulge you. I got nothing but time. And by that I mean I have a flight in six hours. <laughs> After all, this is nothing more than a silly game to me. I have a flight in six hours, meaning I have to arrive in half an hour because it's gonna take five hours to get all set up. Well, actually, I don't have to go through security. I have diplomatic immunity. That means I get a free TSA check. But it's I'm still TSA a pre Californian airport. <laughs> yeah, right. Even if that's how you see things, I'd appreciate if you would take me seriously. I don't have yes. to take shit seriously. <laughs> I'm sorry. I suppose you are in a bit of a pickle. And by that I mean I really don't take you seriously. Very well. A game is no fun if the playing field isn't level. I mean, just because I'm a level 99 boss. <laughs> I don't know what! It's just, I can't, I can't stop with the ad-libs! <laughs> oh, uh, me laughing and just, my model's arm, the, my other arm just broke for no reason. I, I'm trying to think... Because I want to rebuke what he said about, ah, oh, it's not, you can't, the game's no fun if the playing field's not level. I'm like, there has to be some kind of a game that goes downhill. There has to be some kind of a game that goes downhill. I just, I, the only thing I can think of is that game where, um, you have the, like, uh, cannon, um, the, the tank, and you have to shoot it on the hill. Like, you have to arc it. It's kind of like, um... Angry Birds, I guess, but it's like OG Angry Birds. Do you know what I mean? Are you talking about one where it's two player and you're both like on opposite sides on like mountains? I think, but it was something, there was something similar to it. Um, I think Worms. And you're just adjusting angles of tanks? Yeah, yeah. I, I think Worms did something similar too, like the Worms games. Right. Therefore, also I golf, form if you want to. What? Also golf. Golf is a good one where if the loving, if the, I mean, I don't play golf, but I know that for people who prefer golf, that's yeah. one that's like if the playing field were entirely level the whole way, people get bored. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's why you have sand pits and you have to navigate around like a forest. And Water has a yeah. chain chomps and lava around the place. Oh my it's great. God. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're praying for another Golden Sun game to be made, and then there's just Mario Golf. Yeah. Aces did look like fun, though. Ace, uh, I haven't played Aces. I enjoyed... Uh, I, people didn't seem to care for it, but I did enjoy uh, Mario Golf... Uh, what is it called? Super Rush? Okay. I think, for the Switch. I didn't even know there was another one. It's been that long. Oh, uh, yeah. It came out a couple years ago, yeah. Um, it has an adventure mode. It's okay. kind of bland. <laughs> I'll admit I stopped playing because I got bored. I was going to say, of course, but... the one for the GBA had a pretty good adventure mode. 
but that's you know seeing seeing footage of that because i've never played it but seeing footage i first saw footage of that i think last year or the year before and it throws me off so bad because all i can see is fucking golden sun yep yeah i played it once in a circuit city um they had it as a uh as a demo and i was like this is just golden sun yeah, no, like, the responding with yes and no with the faces or ellipses, it's like, this is just, this is Golden Sun. Holy yep. shit. But also, uh... What's a circuit city? Oh my god. I'm old. We uh, are. Oh, actually, that also reminds me. My analog pocket uh, finally got delivered, so... Uh, oh. My mom's bringing it to me on Monday, because I had it sent to her house, because, you know, porch pirates. Um... So, she's gonna bring it to me hopefully Monday, and I'll finally get to test it out. But if it works well, I'm gonna buy the dock for it, and then I can actually stream from the hardware. Nice. And it's it's gonna be it's gonna be great. So, I'm super stoked. <laughs> All right. They're full. Just hold them together. Exactly. <laughs> well, it's, it's Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance, which is huge. Yeah. Therefore, I formally claim that I had no motive to kill. Now, let's see you disprove it. Why can he stand there looking proud when he knows he killed another human being? Uh, he's because scum. he's a murderer? Yeah, exactly. He's evil. That's kind of what they do. Well, I'm not going to stand by and just watch him get away with his crimes. In that case, what motive would I have had to kill my co-conspirator? Hold it! Yeah, no, that was a logic thing, so we don't... Okay, Prius. Are you serious that just because you were partners that you had no motive to kill? I'm only following your hypothetical scenario to its logical conclusion. Ha 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 ha. Looks like he's not going to admit it himself that he was in leagues with Mr. Cochin. I suppose not. But I do know his relation to the smuggling ring and to Mr. Cochin. You mean, he's the ringleader and that Mr. Cochin was his subordinate, right? Um, oh. Correct. But I know more than just that. I thought Ms. the game Mon -Karma, lagged. Sure. Oh. <laughs> Miss Von Karma, I'm sure you remember the safe in Mr. Cochin's office, correct? Yes, the safe had two compartments to it, didn't it? Yes, and why do you think those stolen goods are being stored in Mr. Cochin's office? Could it be because he was trying to cheat Ambassador Alba behind his back? So Mr. Cochin didn't turn the goods over, but decided, to ins but decided instead to keep them for himself? I suppose that's possible. Hmm, seems to me that both men were only concerned with their own wealth and well-being. Then that means that maybe they didn't have a trusting relationship after all. Ah, uh, sounds like grounds for divorce to me. I know, right? <laughs> he just took that literal and divorced his life from his body. <laughs> very, you know, very, very nice. Well done. <laughs> Thank Nicely you. Done. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Oh, your model almost bowed properly. It tried. She tried. <laughs> what Ambassador Alba had to gain, I believe that is his motive for killing Mr. Cochin. What are you people whispering about amongst yourselves over there? Meanwhile, we're just not whispering at all. Exactly. We're just like yelling practically. I'm deaf. You'll have to speak up. <laughs> Didn't you say I earlier that you aren't deaf? I said what I said. I haven't had a good ear for 30 years. I just don't pay attention to people when they aren't saying anything important. 
Now, if you were holding some money in front of me, then I might actually listen, but... Okay, Corn. Go fuck yourself. Aw, oh, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Now let's continue with your testimony. I said that like you poor little baby. Right? Oh, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. I mean, might as well condescend to him. He is an asshole. <laughs> poor little baby gonna cry because he can't understand what we're saying. Oh, speak of gonna cry, I finally talked, and especially since we were talking about backlogs earlier, I finally the other day actually checked out In Space with Markiplier. Oh, okay. Did you enjoy it? I thoroughly did. I still haven't gotten through any of the prior, like, things like date or murder or, uh, 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 heist. But Space with Markiplier, I thoroughly enjoyed. Oh, good. I have I not seen it. I was full chaotic in part one. Okay. I, it's also on my backlog. But good, I'm glad yeah, you enjoyed it. it. If you're like me and you go full chaotic, you will understand nothing going on. All right, but fair I watched, enough. Uh, I watched Mark's 10-year uh, anniversary stream afterwards, and he's like, that's the point. If you choose to be chaotic about this, and if you choose not to actually take this seriously and help people, uh, you're going to miss out on a lot of the story. I'm like, yeah, that makes sense, because I understood fucking nothing. All right, I'll have to keep that in mind. It started throwing people in that I'm like, I don't know who the fuck this is or why I should care about. Where are we? What is this place? What is happening right now? What is happening? But to get to the Ugh. point, I was in Alabas the whole time. Hold it. More like you're being an ass the whole time. Oh. Exactly. Oh, got him. <laughs> okay. Kay's okay, just back there hyping him up. <laughs> Kay just actually has an air horn for some reason. Okay, but like she would though. She would, and then Edwards would be like, Ow, that was right in my ear. Why do you have that? <laughs> oh I'm my your God. hype man. Can you please hype man over there? Can you please refrain from hype manning directly into my eardrums? I want to be able to hear better than this guy by the end of the day. I already have tinnitus. I don't need it to be worse. I already had a gunshot go off near my head just a couple of years ago. I don't need it to get worse. See, that's what I mean. I was like, he's already got tinnitus from that. He does not need it to be worse. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Actually, I wonder if you would have tinnitus from childhood. Pro uh, yeah, probably. Like, even though he was unconscious, that gunshot would have still been in that elevator where sound wouldn't have escaped as much. He might have, like, unconscious or no, that's still going to rupture an eardrum. I mean, it's possible he, you know what I mean, it's possible that he healed because he was young and it healed properly. Oh, yeah, it's and true. It's been fine, like 15 you know. Years. Yeah, the one with uh, him on the boat, though, I'm unsure of because I can't remember where that gunshot actually came from. I don't remember either, actually. Yeah. Can't remember if it was from off the boat or... Or, no, I think that's right. Yanni Yogi made like he was gonna shoot him, didn't shoot him, and then fell out of the boat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so he was... Uh, that's still, like, three feet away. That still would have... Ugh. Yeah, tinnitus. <laughs> Congratulations, you got tinnitus. What exactly did you do while you were in Alabas? I had a meeting with the Steel Samurai, and then I arranged a few files. You lucky fuck. That's right. I got his personal autograph. I'm living your dream, Squiddy. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Around that time, that thief who was sneaking in took me by surprise. Objection! Are you saying that if there's the best twos that made the first move? Did I not show you my war wounds earlier? Yes, and it was after I was attacked 
that I hit him on the head with the Primidu statue. Unfortunately, he died from the blow, but it was an act of justified self-defense. He was on my land, and I took that personally. War wounds. That's what. Uh, those are what grow. <laughs> War that, um, the radi When the radiation from the nuclear fallout becomes too strong. Exactly. War. <laughs> uh, not only is that a bad joke, but that's also just dark. <laughs> Kinda. The Calling children are not okay. <laughs> Calling it that doesn't cover up what you really did. <laughs> cover up? No, my boy. I'm not covering up anything. I'm telling the truth. I know you're not covering up anything. Those wrinkles are monstrous. How dare you? <laughs> you weren't planning to admit to it, which is why you tried to frame the steel samurai. Like, that's the if first time he's, like, camera. actually offended. <laughs> <laughs> Who, Francisco or? No, uh, uh, Alba. Alba. He's like, I have a 20 step skincare routine. How fucking dare you? Well, you need 20 more. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> if you weren't an ambassador, I'd let my whip fly loose on you right now. Ooh, excuse Why, me. if I were the killer, I'd kill you next. Right? <laughs> Well, if I were the killer, let's just say there wouldn't be a whip to whip me with. That doesn't make sense. I would take up that mantle. <laughs> what did you say? I didn't hear what you said. Oh, I was just uh, for Francisca. She was like, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, I'll take up that mantle. <laughs> That's great. Kay I would am. happily take that whip. Oh my god. You're like, I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> no, no. God, no. I'm saying Kay would happily, if Princess could die, that she would be like, oh, oh, on the whip. Oh, oh. Yeah, no, she would. You're right. She would. <laughs> I've got this, oh, she... Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, please, no. Well, she'd <laughs> add that to her repertoire for thieving and just, like, Indiana Jones around the place. Oh, my God. She would love that. Oh, my God. That's her Sweet. bonding activity with her, uh, um, with her auntie. <laughs> <laughs> auntie Francisca. Yeah, Auntie Francisca. And Edgeworth hates just it every her. time. <laughs> just both of them learning how to whip onto ledges and just swing across. I mean, they're they're close in age, I think, so that's why it's even funnier. Yeah, there's only two year difference. Yeah. I am terribly sorry that I didn't clean up the body better, but I am a busy man. I had a speech to give in the Rose Garden after that, you know? So I just left it there for the cleaners. I mean, that's what I pay them for, after all. <laughs> Yet despite that, you still had time to kill Mr. Cochin, didn't you? To be fair, I actually know someone who is a year older than his aunt. Yeah? Yeah. I knew someone back in the day that was an uncle at seven years old. My cousin uh, has... She is the youngest, and she has nephews who are, oh my god, let's see, if we were 13 at the time, then they would have been seven, so yeah, like a six-year difference. So, yeah. Anyway, you had to spot that, you, s nope, you had to spite that, you still had time to kill Mr. Cochin, didn't you? Y you okay over there? Dude, the accent's infectious. I heard it. I heard you. <laughs> you're trying not to laugh. <laughs> I just saw your model dancing around the screen. I'm like, are you okay over there? But now you're just holding back a laugh, I guess. I was trying. I was. I was eating. Um, and I was trying not to laugh while I was eating. 
now. <laughs> I really should eat. It's 10 o'clock at night. I should eat something. It's 2 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> it's 2 a.m. I have this donut <laughs> in my office. <laughs> I've got a lot of this unused ink if you want to drink that. It's biodegradable. <laughs> no! <laughs> How could you? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you beat Robbie to it. <laughs> I just randomly remembered it. I'm like, oh yeah. So yay, first time I've ever redeemed anything on your channel, woo. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> Man is lemons. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> it's great because I also just saw that episode recently too. <laughs> Man is evil. And I'm sure you are familiar with the facts, but... Mr. Cochin was killed in Babal while I was all the way in Alabast. So it's simply not possible for me to have killed him in Babal. That is my alibi. Uh, fuck, where's the press? There it is. <laughs> Wait, what do you use to press? My stylus. Oh, I just hit L. Oh, oh, I used the touch screen. <laughs> I just hit the L button. <laughs> yeah, I use the I touch screen touch for screen. everything. The only time I use a touch screen if I need to talk to our partner. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I... I pretty much play this game entirely with the touchscreen. Ouch. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm not a fan of touchscreen, oh. so <laughs> that's just my personal preference. I like the touchscreen, actually. It's nice. Accident. Hold on, give me one. Oh. Nope, hold on. Okay. You insist that it's not possible for you to have killed Mr. Cochin and Babal, and you are correct. Oh? I thought you would put up a bit more of a fight, but if you must concede to me... What's great is now I can't tell if you're, like, extending the length of your words because Southern Accent, or because trying to stall for time to read. Uh, it's both. I was about to say, it's probably both. <laughs> the only thing I am conceding is that it's not possible for you to kill him in Babar. I am not conceding that your alibi is the truth. Oh. I see. I can't. <laughs> However, no matter how you try, know that you can't Rush my alibi. I almost said crunch. Crunch. <laughs> Crouch. Hmm. You would be wise not to underestimate a prosecutor of this country. Huh. We'll see about that. Yes, we shall see. That's that's so Mr. what I said. Was a <laughs> So anytime I ever hear someone say, we'll see about that, I always just think of Avatar Left Airbender, specifically Ember Island players. Just how over-to-top actress Azula was. Oh, yeah. We will see about that. Yes, we shall see. Shout out to Tara Strong for just hamming it up with that performance. Oh, yeah. Welcome back, Corin. Oh, welcome back, Corin. I am blind I and cannot chat read chat. I was a douche. <laughs> so Mr. Cochin was a friend of Ambassador Alba. If that's true, then why did the Ambassador kill him? Oh, I almost read that as it's not why. 
It's not like in the case of my father, where he ordered someone to do it. The problem we have here is a failure to communicate. Is we don't know what their exact relationship was. Indeed. If they had complete trust in each other, then there would is no motive for murder. However, both men were very selfish. Very selfish lovers indeed. And I believe that is from where this motive arose. Right, okay, so, we so now we cycle back. Oh god, I don't know. Um so we know he didn't ki he killed him in uh is it this one? The median area, the neutralis. Yeah. Okay, it's the la it is the last statement then, because he says uh it's not possible for me to have killed him in Babal. And we know he killed him in the neutralis. I think it's this one. Oh god, I can't fucking see this evidence. Is it the- I wonder if it's gonna be the basket or the surveillance camera. I can't read this. Oh yes, Corn. Absolutely excited for next month. Very What's excited next month? for Apollo Justice. Oh yeah, I'm also excited. Cause we so have to, cause um, the second game, which we're kind of hoping that maybe it'll get released uh, by the time we finish the trilogy, but that takes place. Does it take place immediately after this? Investigations too. I think it does, only because at one point I looked at, tried to look at the full Ace Attorney timeline just to try and figure out, like, because I couldn't fully remember the distance between the third and fourth games. And it looks like the second of Investigations game takes place immediately, fucking immediately after this game, apparently. I put my glasses back At least based on, on timeline stuff. Well, in the interest of actually playing a game that's translated um, and readily available, we'll just go straight to Apollo Justice. Yeah, I mean, we'll know uh, we'll know what happens when we double back anyway. Exactly. Besides, if we were concerned, if you're concerned about time stuff, then we still have also the Great Ace Attorney to do after all that. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So okay, we'll just we'll come back to investigations too. Hopefully, by the time it's actually released. Because, you know, we got a solid, like, probably six, seven years. I'm kidding. <laughs> but only I mean, half kidding. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'd say that there's, like, 70% truth in that. Yeah, yeah. All right, so, um, what do you think? Security footage or the push cart? Neither of those really, because the security footage shows oh. that he went to Alabast. The and the push cart is just lumpy at the moment. We don't have like anything proven with that yet. Yeah, but we don't have so the right thing. Now... We don't have the thing that says that It happened in the in the theatrum. So unless it's the photo, which photo? What? The commemorative photo. Oh, that shows. Um, taking that theatrum is a murder weapon can be seen. In... Uh, I'll take the hit. Nope. Damn. The next statement directly contradicts this piece of evidence. Does it, Niall? 
Hmm, not that really matters to me either way. But are you really sure my statement contradicts that piece of evidence? Ah, judging by his overconfident attitude. I guess this piece of evidence wasn't related to his statement after all. Miles Edgeverse! You can't chase him down with that kind of evidence. Y yes, I know. I must think calmly and rationally about this, because it's not impossible to take this man down. Let me loop around to you. So it was a friend. Is it true? Why did the ambassador kill him? It's not like the case of my father. Why order someone to? We don't know what their exact relationship was. Oh, is that what we're trying to change? Yes, I did get we're the... We're trying to prove that... I d we did, um, I did pick up the Ace Attorney Chronicles already, and I believe Colin did too, so at least we can, we can definitely do that after, uh, Apollo Justice. Yeah, I have the, di I have that one, I think, digitally. Oh yeah, I have it digitally. Uh, that being said, uh, there's gonna be physical copy on Switch for, uh, Apollo Justice. Well, I mean, I bought them, I, I bought them digitally already, so. Oh. Uh. I'm probably currently it looks like Amazon's the only place that has it available, so I might just buy it off of that. Oh. Okay, so what my motive? Be? Yeah. Okay. So what if it's? What if it's not the last statement then? If we're trying to prove that there was issue with the relationship, there, to prove there's blood in the water. I'm what motive would I have had to kill my co-conspirator? The fact that he wasn't sharing the money? But do we have that that we can present? Because we've got the money, we've got the... I mean, we've got like a lot of shit, but like, what's... What's the one piece? The one piece. Thank you, I thought it too. sure what to pick for this one. Anyway, I'm gonna go to the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. Okie dokie. I should really get myself some kind of food. I just don't know what. Well, we can take a, we can take a quick break if you want to make something and eat. Because we gotta, we gotta figure out what the answer is here anyway. Right, which I'll admit, because I'm having so much difficulty remembering with this case, I have the spoiler-free walkthrough up here. I'm tempted to actually use it for its intended purpose instead of just seeing when next to be continued is, but... Uh, um, yeah, we can take, like, a five, ten-minute break. Yeah, okay. I can go ahead and start making myself food. Okay, sounds good. So we will be back momentarily, everybody. BRB! Okay. I cannot be heard now. All right, so, yep, I will be right back.
I'm back. I'm back too. Yeah. I got more soup. I guess. And uh, I still have lettuce. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> I'm making ramen, which is gonna be cooking for five minutes, and then after five minutes, I'll have to go on in and. Uh, Oh, that looked cool on your stream. How I just flashed into existence. Yay. Um, <laughs> now I uh, have to go in, put the sauce packet in and everything, and then I'll let it sit for like half an hour. So probably about 11 o'clock I'll actually eat. Let's see. How far away are we, though? Dear God. Eh, that might actually not be that bad, honestly. So, here's hoping. Hmm. So, do we want to actually be back back or. Yeah, I was. Ugh, that sucks. Okay. I was like, maybe it was the money, it. like, because you didn't give him all the money back? I don't know. Well, I decided to bring us back back on my stream, so woo. Um, these are our fellow smugglers. Only other thing I can think of is maybe the plate. Actually, hold on. Wait, hold on. I just had a thought. And what is said thought? I got it. It's the letter to Damask telling him to steal the Primido statue. And he was going to steal the Primido statue because it had the money plate in it. So Manny's, gotcha. yeah, Manny's plan was to steal the money plate so that he could continue creating counterfeit bills purely for himself and cut Alba out of the, out of the smuggling ring. So which one did you, uh... It's the letter, it it's to? the one that's, it's that little piece that Damask had in his hand when he died. Right, to which statement? Oh, to the, um, co-conspirator statement. Like, what, uh, okay, yeah, what, what, right, uh, reason would I have to, to betray my co-conspirator? but I was on the wrong statement for it, is why. Oh, okay. Well done. Yeah! I was like, wait a minute, I have a thought. Because it was, it was once you said, oh, we're trying to prove what his motive is, I was like, oh, I wonder if it's that statement where he says, um... What what reason would I have to kill my co-conspirator? I was like, it's got to be that one right. instead of the last one. That being said, I'm glad we have your memory here because I am... I, I, I'll i admit, I'm checking out of this case pretty damn hard, apparently. <laughs> well, I had to just... I had to just read through all of the... All of the stuff in our organizer again to be like, fuck, huh. what makes sense? And I mean, you even saw it. I tried the bills because I was like, maybe it's this? And then I went and looked at, so yeah. if you're, when you're in the organizer, right? Um, I was looking at stuff and, um, you know, I, I scrolled past the note. So the counterfeit bills, I tried that. That didn't work. Oh uh, yeah. The counterfeit then I had the, the note is next, which statue. says request to steal the Primido statue. And then I was like, well, wait a minute. Yeah. It used to be real, but it has been swapped with a fake from Babal. And then when you go down to um, the plate, here it is. This was found within the fake Primido statue. So I was like, oh, yeah. that's got to be the reason why Manny Cochin hired Damas to steal it. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't make fun of me. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> 
I forgot you can see that in real time on Discord. Honestly. I can. I was like, that's not going to show up immediately for her if I do that. I'm like, nope. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I I'm not mocking because I do the same damn thing. It's just where I'm holding this DS with both hands is the only thing. I see. If you want to know, I believe you did have a motive to kill. It was because Mr. Cochin had betrayed you. He but betrayed you the law! Too. <laughs> law! Okay. <laughs> Namely, I still have never seen Judge Dredd, by the way. I, I have an ether. <laughs> I need to. <laughs> so what, do we both just know it because of that meme and Nostalgia Critic? Nostalgia Critic, yes. Yeah, okay, cool. That's like the extent of either of our knowledge. Is I mean, I knew it was from Judge Dredd, but I still haven't seen Judge Dredd. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you had your own reason, too. Namely, you wanted to pin the smuggling all on him. Evil begets evil. Evil baggets evil. Baguette? Wee oui, wee oui, baguette. Are always evil. <laughs> Ziffrich. Just... Just reminds me of the old uh, Tom Ska bit. Oh, what's it called? Oh, Alien. Where it, his, Tom abducts a French guy. It's like, oh, look, it's an alien. What language is he speaking? We'll never know. It's like that. That's clearly a French man. Oh, you did like, show that to oh, me. Yes. It? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you did show that to me. Yeah, pulls out the baguette. Is this an annual pro? That's a baguette, and also that's not fitting in anyone's ears. I mean, <laughs> I mean the joke ends at the end that the French are actually all aliens. It's like they pre prepare the baguettes, <laughs> and then it <laughs> zooms out just here. Oh, I knew it would fit. Uh, and because you were trying to test each other, it turned into this mess. Objection! That's stuck to my screen. There we go. I don't believe this. You have a bad penchant for telling tall tales, Mr. Prosecutor. And if you're not, then I suppose you have some proof to support your argument. Every tale that comes from Lindsay is tall, because she is tall. Oh my god. I'm not that tall! <laughs> Don't say it's a bad thing. I we am We stand sure. a tall queen. I am a short queen. <laughs> I'm only 5'4". I, I am so a you short queen. You acknowledge your queen, then. Oh I win. Oh my god. You can't take that back. You're a queen forever now. Suck it. <laughs> I never use guesswork in moving my cases forward. It has been proven that this note was written by Mr. Cochin's hand. Shall we take a look at it? The content of the note is a request common for the theft of Alabas primitive statue. Huh. By killing him and pushing all the guilt for the smuggling onto him, you walk away spotless. I believe you understand what I'm driving at. You had more than a few reasons to kill him. Objection! Bitch, please. <laughs> Bitch, talk to the hand. <laughs> Are you finished with your hypothesizing? Excuse me? I said what I said. Let's suppose I did have a motive. Even so, a motive or a thought alone can't kill. I honestly don't know if my excuse me just now is Southern or British. I said it in such a way that I'm like, wait, which accent did I slip into for that? I don't know. <laughs> the 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 in between accent. <laughs> yeah. Ah, Southern British. Ah, Hypo size, <laughs> yeah, I get that. I'm gonna order that from McDonald's next time. Ah, can I get hypo size on that? They're gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Isn't that right? Corn, if it makes you feel better, I end up at first reading that as hypnosizing, and I'm like, oh, I know some sites for that. Oh my god. 
I didn't expect him to result to playing the semantics game with me. Sir, this is, <laughs> Sir, is a this Wendy's. Is <laughs> it appears that this is where the real battle will begin. The the battle the theme uh, battle theme music from uh, Final Fantasy VII starts playing. Ah, <laughs> uh, now I just want you to play Henry Stickman again. Fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god, that reminds me, when Rebirth comes out, um, I'm just gonna be playing Final Fantasy VII for a while. <laughs> I think it comes out, in, I think it comes out around my birthday, actually. Well, you're streaming that, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be streaming it. Yeah, I, was, I was gonna say, it's uh, the way you said it at first, it made it sound like, oh, if I disappear from the internet, that's why I'm like... You're going to be existing solely on the internet as you stream now. What are you talking about? Well, the thing is, is I have to figure out by then how to make, like, streaming for the PlayStation 5 work again. I might have to use my laptop. I don't know. I will, or I'll just, ugh. We'll bring it in here. I don't know. <laughs> I think the solution is I just get a really fucking long, um, uh, HDMI cable. I think that is the solution. I have one I don't use anymore. I have one I don't use anymore if you want it. I can well, I mean, it's got, but it's got to be like 30 feet long. I think mine is 24 feet. I'd have to measure it. I don't, I don't know if that would be long enough. Like, it's speaking Man, honestly. Because it's a room. Because it's got to wrap around the corner and. Anyway. Now then, if okay, you no. will excuse me. Sorry, give me one moment. I'm just checking something super important to me right now. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sir, this is a I Wendy's. promise this is important to me. Very important to me. <laughs> uh, well, let's see, guys. Ah, no, not what I wanted to click. Man, if only I could fit a second monitor in here, I would. Because the problem is, is I could connect it to the TV that I have in here. But that's the whole reason why I bought a new TV in the first place. Was because the first time I plugged the PS5 into this TV that I have in the room with me, it, uh, it stopped working. <laughs> oh. Okay, cool. I can't do this. Because you already own it. Hmm? I was gonna check to see, I checked uh, my library to see if you owned Henry Stickman, but it doesn't say you've played previously, so I was like, okay, she doesn't own it. So I went to the store. It's half off right now for only seven bucks. Please go, everyone, please go buy Henry Stickman collection. Fucking love it. Um, but I went to add to the cart and just gift it to you. It's like, already owns. I'm like, Oh. So you must have bought it for me already, because I didn't buy it for myself. I mean, probably. It's a game I want you to play, so... Yeah, yeah <laughs> what I, Robbie said? Yeah. It, I, I figured it was something like that. Thank you, Robbie. I, I figured it was something like that, so... I just wanted to go check and make sure. Uh, since we're stuck in a moment of... No music. I will be right back once more. Uno momento, por favor. Because I need dokes. to go finish making my food. Aha. He just bleeps out of existence. Just Thanos snaps himself. <clears throat> yeah, so I have to figure out the best way to set up the PlayStation 5 in here. Honestly, if I had a second monitor, that would solve all of my problems. I just don't. <laughs> or if I bought another new TV to replace the one that's in here, but, like, shit's expensive, so. Uh, Heather did want me to buy her TV, but I, that TV's huge. I don't think it'll fit in this room. The one that I have behind me is, like, I think 40 inch, and that's realistically all that'll fit in here. Um. 
And I don't know if I want to buy another TV. I could just buy a second monitor and replace that TV with a monitor. That could be the best way that I end up doing it. But it'll have to be next time monitors are on sale. And they're just, the sales just aren't super great right now. So maybe after Christmas, maybe, maybe if there are any good after Christmas sales, I'll pick up another monitor, um, and just get rid of this TV that I have in here. Jesus Christ. The overexposure <laughs> when you came, like, exposure when you came back. Yeah, I just, I just freaking flash back into existence. Also doesn't help, apparently Discord ate a few frames of that, it looks like. It was really funny. So I just end up frozen there in a bright, blinding light for a moment. My eyes! <laughs> Wait, what? I told you at the very beginning, didn't I? You only get one question. Arg. <laughs> It's just so funny to see him come swooping in. I know, right? Ambassador Alba, if you could please give us just a little bit more of your time. <clears throat> oh, that's the wrong side. It'd be more like. Ooh. That voice is actually really rough on my like... throat today because it eats at the corners of my throat, and that's where my throat's dry from talking to my boss for so long. Yeah, if you want, I can do that one if you want. No, it's all right. I'll just have to... That was a redundant sentence. I'll just have to drink water after every time I do it, that's all. It doesn't matter what kind of man Manny was. He was my subordinate. And you fucking killed him, you animal! Doesn't matter what kind of man Manny Man was. He was my man subordinate, man. He was Manny! The... the... The Headless Man Horse! That's, that's, a, that's a DuckTales 2017 reference. Oh, I still haven't watched. I actually finished that while I had COVID, and um, it was phenomenal. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I hear great things about it. Oh, I mean, it was it great. Don Cheadle as Donald Duck, so like, hell yeah. Yeah, and then, um, and then David Tennant as uh, Scrooge McDuck was phenomenal. But then again, yeah, I just love David Tennant. Uh, also apparently has pictures of Max and Roxanne finally dating a little bit, so that sounds fucking uh -huh, amazing. Uh-huh, it does. Goofy you know, has, like, one cameo in the entire years. show, and it's fucking lit. I, I mean, that's finally closure I've wanted for over 20 years, so yeah, I'll take it. It was fantastic. Because, like, literally, he shows up out of nowhere, and it's amazing. <laughs> it was the best episode. I really do recommend it if you ever get around to watching it. You'll get around to watching it at the same time I'll get around to watching Owl House. Trust. <laughs> or Amphibia. Yes, exactly. Or Steven Universe. Oh, no, I've seen Steven Universe. I finished that forever ago. Uh, you did watch all the way through? Oh, yeah. I was I was watching it when uh, I had caught up, and then I was watching Future as it aired. So. Nice. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. You watched Future as it aired. Yeah, I did. You went, so that means you also got stuck with the burden of the commercial. Now that I finally saved the universe, I can finally party! At every fucking commercial. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, I sure did, didn't I? Oops. I sure did, I did I'm so forget. sorry. But as you guys know now, I forget a lot of things. Not at any point in place of malice, not any lack of caring, just I forget. Yeah, because I was, anyway. I was, um, I was pretty much caught up on it the whole time it was airing, but of course it was airing so infrequently that Yeah. it was, you know, it wasn't hard to be I caught up what, with. Yeah, I, I still love what sold me on it. I mean, that's that, fair. That, it, I started well, and it was an I amazing wedding. Shortly after, oh, absolutely. Phenomenal wedding. One of the best 
wedding scenes of any show ever. Um, but no, what's I, the show, what sold me on this show was uh, fan art because I, I started watching shortly after season two started, um, and that's entirely because there was so much fan art of Peridot and Jasper as Vegeta and Nappa, and I just I got so curious from there. That's fair. Yeah. Like, like I just I had to know what this is about that there was invoking this much fan art of them cosplaying that I'm like, what is this? And then I watched. I'm like, cool. Yeah, now that I think about it, I think I've actually been watching it since the original pilot. Like, the one that was, Damn. like, 80s themed? Yeah. Yeah. Where Zach Callison really sounded young. Yep, 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 exactly. You could hear him really pushing for that deep voice. It was great. Because I want, I mean, you know, obviously I'm glad we got the show we ended up with, but it was like, I wanted to see that show too. Like, that version of it. Right. Alright. Which is why I would like for us to figure out the real cause of his death. Mind crush. Mind crush. That is <laughs> something for the ball to figure out. Without me, by the way. And something to which I have no relation. That extra two is... <laughs> His face! Right? You know what? I can't argue with that logic. Alright, I'm out. <laughs> well, I've done all I can here. See ya. Right? I just made myself think of uh, Colorado from Paper Mario. Well, I've done all I can here. Carry on, chap. <laughs> now he's even turning down a request from Ambassador Palaino. I'm very sorry, but it seems that now even my voice fa falls on deaf ears. Are you good? In a momento, por favor. I will find out in a moment. <laughs> I was going to say, are you the deaf ears now? I was, and then I end up uh, being deaf. Now I'm currently deaf in one ear. Hold on. Uh oh. Devices. Sorry, that was my Still fault. Up. I blew out your headphones. Okay. Stupid hair. Ugh. I do really like his butterfly brooch. It's very pretty. I want it. Are you good? Did it die? Like, is it out of battery? Yeah, I think it died. It was out of battery. Yeah. Uh, where's my thing here? Not that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You were the chosen one. Oh, I heard myself. Hi, me. No, no, shit. Um, X split. Yes, I know. I just changed audio source. We, we don't, we shouldn't care about this usually. Why are we caring about this now? Reasons. Exploit! Exploit, come back to me! Bueller? No, it's, it's just stuck on, it's frozen on a screen of me just sticking my tongue out like a goof. Bueller? 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 Um, hey, Sack. My best friend's sister's brother's boyfriend said... <laughs> Actually, I think it's sister's brother's girlfriend, but anyway. I don't know. If it's a Ferris Bueller quote, I have, I've only seen Bueller once, and that was when I was, I think, like, 14, 15? 
You know what's sad? I've actually never seen Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and it's just because of an old AMV I watched years ago that had that quote in it that I've memorized it. Okay, then. It was, uh, it was Kingdom Hearts The Stupid Files. I watched those videos on repeat, and I memorized, like, every movie quote that was in those videos. Because I have no life. <laughs> It's not like I did it on purpose, it just lives rent-free in my head. <laughs> okay. How about over here? Same data. Okay, let me fix this. Yes, exactly! Like, those kinds of, like, comedy clip shows, I guess, technically? It was just, like, you know, an assortment of references for movies or video games. And it was just, oh, it was my favorite thing. I love those. Because it's like, oh, yeah. I mean, technically, I guess it's a YouTube poop, but it wasn't called that. Okay, good. All back to normal. Good. Okay. All right, I is now good. Because um, most of the YouTube poops I think of are like, you know, taking whatever the, the source material actually is and then editing that in a funny way. Yes, all of the KH2 videos. Why your description though reminded me of Kablam, and now I miss Kablam. Oh, I loved Kablam! I miss Kablam too. <laughs> the the action uh, the action figures segment, mm -hmm. and then um, the the and alien and the caveman, Prometheus Bob and Bob. And Prometheus and Bob was the, was the shit. My dad still remembers that. And he'll bring it up every once in a while. He's like, he's like, oh yeah, you remember that show with the with the caveman and the alien? I was like, yeah, Prometheus and Bob. He's like, that shit was hilarious. And I was like, I know. <laughs> yeah, Prometheus and Bob, the action figure. Yeah, action league now. League. Thank league. you. Action league now. That's it. Yep. Thank you, Corin. Wasn't I one of them I melted? Heard the other shows, but those two. I swear, one of the action figures was melted. Oh my god, I'm, I love that show. Unfortunately, the only action, like, Action League Now character I remember is a really buff one who I think was almost nude and blonde. It's like the only one I remember. Yeah, Melt Man! With the power to melt! Thank you! <laughs> Of course, then that just made me think, for some reason, made me think of the Amanda show, and specifically, uh, I'll get to it eventually! Yes, exactly. Oh my god, and I used to quote the Amanda show all the time. Because, of course, that's where my old man voice came from, was the Amanda show. Oh, Super Robot Monkey Team Hypo Forest Go. Super Robot Monkey yes, Team Yes, I remember Forest that. Go. I think I watched, like, three episodes, but that fucking theme song... Or at least the title for it. It was good. Head. It was a bop, as they say. On Jet X! Okay, did you try to read the I'm Very Sorry line? Or? Um, I'll just read it again. I'm very sorry, but it seems that now even my voice falls on deaf ears. I tried, I swear. I never watched Cubex, but I saw the ads for it all the time. Yeah, same. I never actually watched it myself. That being said, uh, now I hope that this doesn't become... Um, uh, well, actually, I have two memories of it now. Uh, one, seeing it advertised all over the place in a video rental store. That... Oh, you're eating your hand now, are you? Okay. Um, <laughs> a video rental store when I was a kid. Um, and then the other one is more recent uh, because I was watching uh, just raw footage of like 9-11 from the ground 
and one, and it was just like walking around and saw in one of the stores just the advertisement for Cubics, and I'm like, oh my god, was that that long ago? What a fucking shot! It was that yeah, much sure on around that time, wasn't it? Holy shit! All right, bye, Corin. I'm glad you stopped by. Nice seeing you, Corin. Have a great bye. night. Sleep well, sweet dreams. Tell your phone sleep well too. There is no need for you to apologize, Ambassador Plena. <sighs> must find some way to stop him from leaving. It seems there are no further objections. Bullshit. It seems there are no further objections that I'm actually going to pay attention to. In that case, please allow me to return home. And <laughs> he fucking beats out of it! <laughs> Delete this man. <laughs> yeah, let's go, Kay! <laughs> Discord ate you for a moment, so, but it ate you in a weird way. It, it eats me when I laugh, because I laugh well, so no, loud and so high-pitched. Because you did just say K, right? I did, I did just say K. I said, let's go, so, K! Yeah, so, all I heard... I heard you laughing, Discord cut you out, and then just as if you were 30 feet away from the microphone, K! That's funny. <laughs> yeah, right, he did the peace out meme, and then K just, like, forced him to come back. Hold it right there! That's wrong voice, fuck. <laughs> ah! Okay. I've learned to be a valid girl. I like God. Okay. Hold it r fuck. <laughs> Hold it. Fuck it. Bop it. Twist it. Pull it. I'm losing my mind. I'm tired, apparently. I can tell. I just see your VTuber's model mouth just like, <gasps> I'm... Um... It's, it's cause I'm trying to get the voice back, but I'm like, it just doesn't want to come back. All she wants to do is Valley Girl right now. Most importantly, can you do this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh. SpongeBob has a situation, has a quote for every situation, even it, when it's weird. It, it does, it does for sure. <laughs> Hold it right there, Ambassador Alba. I still can't do it. It's not working. Okay. Like I said, Mr. Edgeworth. There it is. The Yatagarasu's legacy will live on through me. He lives in you. He, he lives. lives in me. I don't remember the lyrics to that song well enough. I don't either. Come on, you're the bigger Lion King expert, I'm sure of it. Ugh. Drink yeah. Soldier boy. What are you doing over there? I'm drinking soup. Oh. <laughs> so whenever I lift the cup to my face, you know, my arm uh. comes up with it, so. Oh, okay. Yes, but how do you suggest we stop him from leaving? It's not gonna just render a soup cup out of nowhere. Right? It'd be amazing if it did. I know, right? You just leave that to me! I'm gonna punch him in the face now! I was gonna say, how are we gonna keep him here? Leave that to me! She just tackles him. Now she just fucking, like, cold clocks him and knocks him right out. <laughs> in front of all of his military guys. <laughs> exactly! You gonna want a piece of me? <laughs> You motherfuckers want some? Cash me outside, how about that? Uh? <laughs> this key in my hair has multiple uses. Right. And I'll use them all. <laughs> Fucking try me, assholes. <laughs> Kay does not play today. <laughs> That's a very nice poetry, Kay. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> Ambassador Alba, do you recognize this? She throws a fucking shuriken at him. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 
I say that is my eye, motherfucker. <laughs> Who throws a shuriken in someone's eye? <laughs> Look, it's a pocketbook. No. And why should I recognize that tattered old organizer? It's not Wait. even real leather. Wait, where have I seen that before? That's her dad's, yeah. That is a clue my father, Burn Faraday, left for us. I love seeing her face like that while you still keep giving her the, like, that is a clue for my father. <laughs> like, just the, <laughs> like, over the top kind of <laughs> excited voice. She's just a drama queen all the time. <laughs> she doesn't know how to turn it off. It's impossible to turn it off. <laughs> Did you say, burn Faraday? Shit. <laughs> this is Faraday's organizer. Don't tell me this is the one from the second KG-8 incident. Is that KG motherfucker? Da 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 da. Okay. God damn it. I'm so glad I can see you, like, kind of laughing. Ugh. So, you're like, dang, I can't hide from him that he's kind of getting me. Oh my god. <laughs> It's so lame, but I'm still chuckling, damn it. The one in which he wrote about the Yatagrasu's key? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This organizer belonged to the prosecutor you had Miss Yu kill seven years ago. Huh. I have no idea what you are talking about. You say that like it was related to me. Inside this organizer, he wrote up every detail of every evil thing you did. Evil! Evil! Evil, 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 evil! <laughs> what an amusing little girl you are. But that sort of trickery won't work on me. If you won't believe me, then take a look at this. Get a load of this. Get a load of this. Thank you. <laughs> she fucking, she pulls out a knife. <laughs> what? She just pulls out a knife. <laughs> <laughs> And what is that toy there? Hey, it's Little Thief. What the fuck? Dance. I'm tripping balls. Where'd the wind come from? <laughs> We're in a basement. How's our wind blowing? <laughs> this thievery Rago. device was used by the Yatakarasu, or rather, by my father. So I was about to say, um, wherever the wind, wherever I go, the wind follows, and the wind smells like rain. But now, because of that, in hindsight, I wish we had given Burn Faraday a Nicolas Cage impression. Damn, that would have been good. Fuck. With, with his face and everything, oh, it would have been spectacular. All right, if he comes back in a flashback, it has to happen. <laughs> hindsight is 50-50. <laughs> yep. Seven years ago, he used this when he snuck into this embassy. What? I said what I said! These two pieces of evidence that hold information the Yatagarasu dug up on you. If you go home now, I won't hesitate to send it all to Alabast right behind you. I won't hesitate, bitch. <laughs> Again, I said what I said. <laughs> and I said stop copying me, little girl. Little girl, get to the point. I want you to go up against Mr. Edgeworth one more time. If you win, then I'll hand over these two pieces of evidence. 
Yatagarasu. Ever the thorn in my side. Hey, does that organizer really contain any information on his dirty dealings done to cheap? I thought it was done with sheep, but okay. I believe you, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> what? what? That's the uh, that's the Weird Al Yankovic version of the song. There's a Weird Al Yankovic one of that? Uh-huh, it's Dirty Deeds Done With Sheep. Oh, I need to find that. <laughs> I, never that I never knew that one. Yep, yep. That is, that is, that is one. It's nothing case-breaking, really. But, uh, don't tell him that, as she yells it across the entire fucking auditorium. <laughs> it's nothing case-breaking, really. Oh, well, then I will just be on my way. I have a fly to catch. Maybe Actually, I could get in a I movie or two. I to get uh, the following flight. We've been here three hours. I have missed my plane. <laughs> <laughs> you owe me $450 for a replacement ticket. Damn, that's, that's some cheap airfare. That, that's because it was a joke. It's actually 1200 for first class. All right, that sounds more reasonable. And by reasonable, I mean correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then it was just a bluff. Even if it was, we still can't let all the info my father and Uncle Bad found go to waste. Plus, just the existence of Little Thief is troublesome enough for him. He just slowly creeps over with a lighter just to put it underneath the book that she's not paying attention to. He just... It is just... Just like very slowly, just like, eh, 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 almost eh, okay. And like, no one... No one oh notices. God. Yeah. It's, like, super conspicuous, yet no one seems to be paying attention to him at the moment. The only people that notice are, like, his officers on his side, and they're, like... I mean, I get paid to not say anything, so... <laughs> I say that I'm imagining him, like, doing fucking crab walk. Like, being fully bow-legged doing it, just... Uh, uh, with arms stretched, like, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> not the crab walk. <laughs> As if, like, a little kid who thinks that's going to, like, hide him better. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Those two pieces, aren't they keepsakes of your fasa? It's okay! I believe in Mr. Edgeworth. He'll come out on top in the end! Okay. I've never topped. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna be honest, though, Actually. like, every time I read, like, a piece of fanfiction or something, I'm just like, in my head, Edgeworth is top, so. <laughs> but he's always the bottom! And I'm like, god damn it! <laughs> 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 <sighs> but that's also why I never became, like, a Fundoshi, because, like, every time I would have the quote-unquote, the... <laughs> <laughs> I think you mean a Fujoshi. Yes. Don't clip <laughs> that. In sumo wrestlers wear. I got okay. Listen, it's ten. It's eleven p.m. I'm tired. I got one letter <laughs> wrong. God damn it! Rip. I've never been a <laughs> I mean, it's an accurate statement! <laughs> I'm fucking dead, dude. I'm so You're right, though, Fujoshi. Funny, That's what I was thinking that funny, of. But it is also late, so I'm giggling. It is really funny. That was, yeah. That's great. Oh my god. <laughs> Classic. Oh, anyway, but it was because I always had the, like, I had the, the version of the ship wrong every time. Gotcha. Okay. 
No, that's gonna come back to get you in about 10 minutes. <laughs> More like three seconds. <laughs> uh, when the going gets tough, someone's gotta be the Fudoshi. <laughs> Someone's gotta be there to put the wind back in your sails. Or take the wind out of them, I guess. I am going to be uploading that as a separate clip, by the way. Oh my god, do not! <laughs> I'm tempted. Oh that was god. a solid moment right there. Oh my god. After all this time, you're still quite the feisty one. I applaud your powerful nature. Lost my voice a little bit there. I refuse. <laughs> I refuse to lose this too. Ambassador Alba, you won't be returning home until you give us further testimony. How dare you all, barring a person like me? Ambassador Alba, your testimony, if you please. Gah. All right, but this is the absolute last. And I require remuneration for missing my flight. <laughs> then even if you use all the power of Ambassador Palano's office, you won't stop me. Here's the thing about the writing of this game. I wasn't looking at the game at the time. So when you said the remuneration part, I was like, oh, shit, he actually called it out. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> I can't let this opportunity K has created for me go to waste. Alba's alibi Alba's part, two part two testimony. Part two. The last time I met with Mr. Cochin was here at the Theatrum Neutralis. After that, I was in Alabas the rest of the time, as I stated earlier. In any case, I did not see Mr. Cochin again after that. So you see, there is no time span in which I could have killed him. Wouldn't you agree? Now, since you people were practically begging, I'll allow you to question me. What an arrogant old man! He's a politician. Yes, but no matter. We can't allow this chance to escape us. I will warn you, though. You've reached the end of my patience. And patience oh, is a virtue. Not right now, it isn't. Waste my time with any inane questions, and you will be punished. So what I'm hearing is, uh, we save the game, just in case he won't let us press his statements. Oh, yep, okay! So we saved the game for flavor text reasons. Yep. Oh, are you saving it right now? Yes. Okay. Holy shit, that took a while to save for some reason. Well, let me save mine real quick. I like that this is called End Part 2. Is it really? Yeah, it turned out ablaze End Part 2. Ah! Ah! Okay. Oh yeah, you're right, it does say End Part 2. That's crazy. <laughs> Good lord. It was so long that I needed to establish, like, hey, you're fine, you're near the ending, don't worry. So any needless pressing or presenting will cost more to our case? In that case, the only thing you can do is to present the correct evidence, understood? Of course, I don't intend to let him intimidate me. Okay, so no, no pressing at all, okay. I know Mr. Cochin was killed before he returned to Babal, in which case there's only one statement to which I need to present the evidence. But I want flavor text. Rebuttal, Alba's Alibi Part 2. 
The last time I met with Mr. Cochin was here at the Theatre Neutralis. I'll risk it for a biscuit. Press. I will too. Fuck you. Oh. You met with the victim here. I was watching the Steel Samurai, as was Mr. Cochin, who was sitting nearby. I mean, we might as well just press all the statements. I think we have enough health, and then we'll just reload. Well, I'm gonna be dead after two, but I can still just reload, yeah. Oh, okay. I've been meaning to ask, why is the Steel Samurai as a guest for an embassy event? I like Steel Samurai Daddy. So I asked for him to be at the event. Please never say those words again. He really liked his Fudoshi, I'm just saying. <laughs> Especially <laughs> not when I know who's behind that mask. Please never <laughs> say those words again. Uh. I see. So it's by Ambassador Alba's request. Now then, will that be all? No, no, wait. I'm not finished yet. Objection. No, I'm done. I'm done. I don't know about Colin. <laughs> wow, just... You saw that bus and were like, here, have him. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I just Regina Georged you. <laughs> <laughs> That's two Mean Girls references. Right. Let's go. It's a good night. Yes. You're not very good at listening, are you? I told you I don't have the time to listen to a bunch of useless questions. Time remaining for me to find the truth has just been blown away. So anyway, let me ask more inane questions. Yep. After that, I was in Alabast the rest of the time, as I stated earlier. Hold it. Do you have anyone who can testify that you never left Alabast after that? Of course I do. I was in <laughs> front of a large crowd, bless you, to give my <laughs> speech, wasn't I? Thank you very much, I appreciate that. <laughs> I guess he's not lying about being an alabas the whole time. Yes, as long as he is willing to admit to the mask to his murder, then I suppose so. But he keeps saying that it was justified self-defense. Oh, I get it. Okay, so what if I were to pretend being all hollow and sunken? And then I run into a glutzy person. Could I call that self-defense? That's not self-defense, that's just being careless. <laughs> well, you never know until you try. I'm about to ice this motherfucker. <laughs> I suggest that you don't, especially since you've given me a statement of intent. Oh, you know what? You're right. Yeah, it was the game. The game... <laughs> the game invited that response. You're right. This question's act. Okay, now I'm dead. Time now then, will that away. be all? Okay, that just cycles back to the but same meanwhile, thing. Meanwhile, I end up just dying, so now then, I believe I must end the game here. You've had enough fun, haven't you? <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth? If you don't do something, he's going to get away. I've already confessed. What else do you want from me? Hold it. No, no, I have yet to obtain the truth behind tonight's events. Hmm. Do you think I really care about this truth you seek? Now, since I have admitted to my crime, I will need to pay the airport a visit. So if you would be so kind as to move out of my way, <clears throat> is there no way to stop this man? I don't believe we'll be meeting again. However, I will pray for your success. Here, 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 here. We're not through here yet. Ha 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 ha
thus the truth was lost for all eternity. Poof. <laughs> okay. Continue. Okay, so blah 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 We're pressing on the third statement now, right? Yeah, I think so. I'm pretty sure this was the third statement. Okay. And I died after two, so I'm gonna guess yes. Last time I was blah blah blah, yes. That was an alabaster rest of time, okay. In any case, I did not see Mr. Coach again after that. Is there only two more statements? Cool, okay, good, so I'll die after this. I'll die after these two. So you never saw Mr. Cochin again after you left this theater? That's correct. I'm an incredibly busy man, you know. So it's more likely that Mr. Cochin ran into Ambassador Polano. Oh shit, now we're blaming Even Polano, now damn. His murder onto someone else. How dare you! Saying that I would kill Manny? Ambassador Alba, I demand that you refrain from making baseless conjectures. I was merely offering a possibility. I mean, that's what you've been doing this whole time. No, this won't do. I can already see this is turning into an international incident. Who exactly is pressing who here? In any case, what I need to do is stay positive and fall on. Okay, that was the end of that statement. Alright. And after I die this next time, I'm going to uh, go grab my food finally. Okay. So you see, there is no time span in which I could have killed him. Wouldn't you agree? Hold it. Your alibi is that there was no time span which you could have killed Mr. Cochin. Yes, because I was in the theater watching the stage show. Hey, Mr. Edgeworth. Do you remember seeing him sitting in the audience? I'm sorry, but I don't remember anything outside of what was going on on stage. You shouldn't have been self-focused on the show and paid attention to your surroundings. Mr. Edgeworth! Is it a fact that Ambassador Alba came to the theater? Oh, excuse me, it is a fact that Ambassador Alba came to the theater. But I guess you didn't know that because you didn't see him at the Steel Samurai show. Well, I do recall that he and you had a photo shoot with the Steel Samurai. <sighs> it looks... oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Fuck. Come on, throat. <laughs> Uh, it on, looks throat, like you a what? Stupid joke! I said, "Come on, throat, be the goat." Oh. Uh, it looks like you are finally beginning to understand. Okay, that's it. Oh, yay! So let me skip through this time. Good. But it's not gonna let me skip through here at the death again. Dang it. Alright. And good, I hit the cycle before I died, so I'll just have to reload um, once it comes back around. You know, no, screw it. I'm not waiting for all this. Close the software and return to home menu, yes. Damn, Edgeworth is fucking on fire with this statement. Amazing. Diplomats do know how to craft answers that don't answer anything. So if the only place he met the victim was at this theater, then when was he killed? I'm still getting there. I used your stream to cheat. <laughs> I know you did. 
We know that Mr. Cochin didn't return to Babal alive. Which means that the only time he could have been killed is when they were both here. And that means that he was planning to kill Mr. Cochin from the start. All right, and now we loop back around, so I'm gonna go ahead and say or er, reload. Hold it. Whoops. Uh. Okay, while well, you reload, I'm gonna go grab my food. You get to see my. Xenoblade Chronicles background on my, uh, on my 3DS. Oh yeah, it's, it's fire. And it plays, uh, Gower Plains. I have ramen. Yay, food! There is so much dialogue in this fucking cave. Holy shit. Soon, TM. Here's the, thing I... Here's the thing. I don't think we're getting to the next to be continued tonight. Well, if we can at least get past this part, then that's not so bad, I guess. Here's the thing, I think getting past this part is the next to be continued. Well, I mean, past this particular rebuttal thing. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yep. Hmm, let's see. There's no time span in which he could have killed him, I think is the statement. Hold on, what is... What are we actually trying to answer here? The only place he met the victim was at the theater, then when was he killed? Mr. Cochin didn't return to Babal alive means that the only time he could have been killed is when they were both here. That means he was planning to kill Mr. Cochin from the start. So are we trying to prove when he was killed, or...? Okay, so it's either the last statement or the first one. I think it's... I do still think it's the last statement. But the first one is the one where, of course, he said the last time he met with him was here at the Theater of Neutralis. But I do... I don't know. I still think it's the last statement. I'm gonna- I'm gonna just operate under the assumption it's the last one. It was the photo. Oh, the commemorative photo? The mm -hmm. last statement you said? It was the last statement in the photo. Get a load of this! Or, look at this photograph! I'd like you to take a look at this picture. It's a rather nice picture, isn't it? I'm As my throat ass, cuts out on me there. Which... Because of the smile, I was thinking that was the other ambassador. Duh. Hmm. The one who's next to us. So I was like, well, that doesn't prove anything because that's not Coach in there. Yes, it is. He just has that same obnoxious smile. 
No, it's it's both of the ambassadors. Now you got Alba and Cochin in that picture, though, not Polano. Polano's his name. No, it's Polano. No, it's Polano. It is. Uh huh. The reason for picking the photo is because it has the murder weapon in it, in the in the bouquet. Okay. Which proves that he was planning to kill Manny the whole time mm. and kill him here at the Theatrum Neutralis. Gotcha. It was to commemorate the restoration of relations between our nations. I am a poet, after all. <laughs> oh, it's commemorative, all right. One that captures the proof I need to show that it was you who committed the murder. Come again. Did I fucking stutter? <laughs> This is the knife that killed Mr. Cochin. Ugh. I see you recognize it, as well you should, for it was you who brought it to this theater. You hid it among the flowers you were to give to the Steel Samurai, meaning that you killed Manny Cochin here at the theater. Why are you getting all upset, bro? We, we haven't proven shit. <laughs> it's time for me to catch my flight. Objection! We're not through yet. Objection! Bitch, please. Bitch, please. It's game over for you, Mr. Edgeworth. But I thank you for the entertainment. It's a lot better than any in-flight movie, I dare say. Not quite as good as the pay-per-view I used to watch, though. Oh my god. For clarification, I was thinking of long lines of Royal Rumble. I forget that pay-per-view used to also be used for porn. I just want to clarify that. It wasn't until you said, oh my god, that I was like, oh yeah, that was a thing too. Literally the only thing my family ever used pay-per-view for was, like, Royal Rumble, WWF. Oh, yeah. I, um, yeah. I never used pay-per-view. But I'm pretty sure my uncle used it for all of the things, including wrestling. Because he, he was a wrestling <laughs> fan, but... 90s wrestling was good. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> no matter how passionately you orate... The end result will still be the same. I won't be returning to this country ever again. That's right. This man is an ambassador, and he has extraterritorial rights. No matter how hot we chase after him, we won't be able to have him tried in court. Yes, that's exactly the face you should be making. The face of a worthless cur. Because my text hadn't caught up yet, and you were talking, uh, my brain filled in the rest of the sentence for you, and I thought you were going to say, The face of a wuss. <laughs> That's great. Oh, I'm taking off the gumshoe now. Now then, ladies and gentlemen... I must bid you adieu. I, <laughs> the courts. Is there no one who can lay a finger on this man? Is this really the end? Not so fast. Is it? Yeah, what? there he is. What is up, all of my bitches? <laughs> it is me, Agent Lang. <laughs> Agent Lang. <laughs> <laughs> Kept you waiting, huh? Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Prosecutor. Get out of my way. My plane is scheduled to take off soon. Uh, Mr. Alba, it is. It's now six in the morning. Your plane took off like three hours ago. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but you're not going anywhere, Mr. Alba. 
I'm through playing games with you people. That's right, I said you people. You can't touch me. If you do, it would spark an international incident, Agent Lang. Sorry, but no, it wouldn't. What? Hey, Mr. Prosecutor. Good job holding the fort down here until I got back. Hmm? So, Mr. Elba, your diplomatic community has just been revoked. Oh, yeah! Get this bitch! But we're married. No, what? what, what? <laughs> No, God what's 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 the what's the movie where he says it's just been revoked? Oh shit! Oh, oh I don't remember. I don't either. But unfortunately, I'm th I'm associating it more as a quote with Sonic for Hire, and him immediately falling. Ah oh, shit! No, wrong line to use. That's funny. What do you mean revoked? Spare me this <laughs> nonsense and let me through. <laughs> so I happened to proceed with the text at the perfect time. Your speech for Alba is at the perfect pace that you were reading it exactly as it was showing up on my screen. That's Each funny. word for word. I'm like, damn, she has this text, like, speed, this speech speed down. <laughs> That's great. Wang Ji says, before aiming for the throat... Chew the neck shield off first. What? Does, what? Does he really say that? Okay. Who wears a neck shield? Okay, I believe you. It is actually a phrase I came up with mostly because I wanted to get my dog to stop trying <laughs> to chew at his collar after he was uh, castrated. After he was neutered, I mean. That Lang, buddy, I mean are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Interpol headquarters and the Imperial, house, Imperial Household of the Kingdom of Alabast took a while to get things rolling, but they finally moved on it. That's a lot faster than anything our government does. Yeah, no kidding. That only took like six hours. That's incredibly <laughs> fast. <laughs> the Imperial Household... You, what have you done? My job. You have been relieved of your duties as ambassador, Mr. Alba. Whoa. What? 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 Effective today, effective right fucking now. And you have missed the prosecutor's videotape to thank for release. The video the Yatsuka Rasu protected! You can't be arrested simply because you're an ambassador. In that case, I thought they'd strip you of that title. You underestimated me, a descendant of the founder of detainment philosophy, Lang Ji. 4,000 years of deeply entrenched connections and networks around the world. You've really paid off. <laughs> hey, he's the old man again. Oh, older old man. Well, I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> it can't be. I don't believe this. No way. I can't believe this. <laughs> this girl's got my back. <laughs> I mean, I might as well still use the same voice. It's fun to do, anyway. My yeah. ambassadorship has been revoked! Oh my god, judge with the southern accent. I was trying to go for that, but I was like, I don't know if I can actually do that in the voice. I'd have to practice it a lot more. <laughs> Looks like you're finally coming to grips with your new standing. Woohoo! Looks like he's turned docile again! He's probably in shock from the loss of his shield. <laughs> That's a shame. I had so wanted to use my VIP on him. 
Uh, you can now. I mean, you still could. I mean, technically speaking, you can't use your whip on anyone, but if you're gonna use it on anyone, then you can on him now without facing the serious repercussions you would have 20 minutes ago. I mean, there's still serious repercussions, but yes, it wouldn't be an international incident at least. Yeah, exactly. Why is this happening to me? I'm just a hard-working, honest ambassador. Do you really think you can still pull that on us now? We've already ripped away the mask and seen you for who you really are, Mr. Alba. <laughs> this isn't even my final form. No. I can get I can get much older. <laughs> No, I won't be stopped now. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a bad time. I'm, going I'm having to a ball. <laughs> he still intends to fight us. I'm literally gonna fist fight you this time. So what if I am no longer an ambassador? You still don't have any evidence on me. I don't care that one there is underage. I will fist fight a child. <laughs> Do not tempt me. I will fight a child. <laughs> the fact remains that you cannot arrest me. Oh, sure. When Grunkle Stan says he's gonna punch a child, it's funny. When I do it, it's threatening. <laughs> oh my god. That's straight up a line that Grunkle Stan says, Hey, Seuss, would, be a, would it be a crime if I were to punch a child in the face? Uh. Huh. I'd expected no less from you, the boss of the smuggling ring. Well, the rest is up to you, Mr. Prosecutor. It's 3 a.m. and I am ready for the bed. Understood. I have extreme jet lag because I have to fly all the way back to Alabas and then immediately get back here. Keep doing everything that needed to be done while still making connecting flights back for a round trip fucking sucked. <laughs> I have the most extreme jet lag. <laughs> Also, because I bought the tickets within 24 hours, it's expensive as hell. It could not be written off as a work expense either. I have lost so much money tonight. All of this overtime that I've made has literally gone into all of those flights that I had to take. <laughs> You said that I killed Mr. Cochin in the theater. But even if it's true that that there was a knife in my bouquet, I left that bouquet in the theater. So anyone could have taken it out from there and used it, right? Besides, the claim that he was killed here itself is all. After all, wasn't his body discovered in the ball? Are you claiming that I carried his body all the way over there? <laughs> Preposterous. Wait a minute, son of a bitch! Do I have lost luggage? I think they lost my luggage too. So can't even go to bed. I have to go back to the airlines and file lost luggage complaints. Son of a bitch. Damn it, Sheena usually took care of these arrangements. I'm so <laughs> fucking tired. <laughs> We've been awake for for 23 hours now, going on 28. And I lost my assistant. I am just, you know what? I am over this case. I'm going home. <laughs> this whole day fucking sucks. <laughs> He fucking storms out of the embassy! <laughs> <laughs>
<coughs> and I didn't even get to see the German ninja in person. This is the bullest of shit. <laughs> I'm putting in my two weeks. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> you just hear him continuing to complain as the, those big doors slowly close behind him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Meanwhile, all of his dudes who are still standing here saluting are like, D -d do we do something now? Like, he just, he left. Do we stop him? <laughs> he, he didn't give us any orders. He just fucking walked away. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. <laughs> you just told us to stand here and salute. I, 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 are we done? Can, can we go? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll be the one to... I'll be the one to prove whether it's preposterous or not. Gah. Ex-ambassador Alba, are you ready? That's fire. Because this is no... <laughs> this is no game. This is war. This is Which my war me, room? Have that... Which, Which reminds me, have you ever seen that movie War Games? Ah, oh, love that movie. <laughs> Phenomenal movie. Alright, testimony. Alba's alibi part three. Alright, so we'll read through this and then we can... Go ahead and quickly uh, sub to Lindsay. She's clearly asking for money over there. You can see her VTuber model doing this, asking for money. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You're, I don't know what you're doing when it does that, but your VTuber model's done that a few times, and I'm like, you seriously look like you're just like, hey, pay up, pay up. Well, like, sometimes I adjust my glasses, or like, you know, move my hair out of the way, or like, scratch, like, my ear or something. <laughs> Join the stream you want you want to make it worth our while oh my gosh <laughs> plenty of people resubbed so which i appreciate yay <laughs> i killed mr cochin in this theater using a knife that was stuck in my bouquet I that sounds like mark, something out question of question some kind of mark, fiction I didn't hear a question mark. Did anyone else hear a question mark? I didn't hear a question mark. Arrest him. Right? He just confessed. Oh, Arrest his right? ass. He confessed to it all. We're done here. I, I left that bouquet in the theater. Anyone could have taken the knife from there. Besides, Mr. Cochin's body was discovered in the ball, right? There is no way for me to have transported his body from the theater to the ball. Look, don't you think you've had enough fun with me? You've already uh, stolen my ambassadorship from me. Would you have me surrender too? Yes. First of all, yes. Second of all, I had enough fun with you a long ass time ago. You have no plans to ever return to this country, isn't that right? I mean, I said what I said. Did you know that a bunch of your subordinates are seeking asylum because of you? Hey, there it is! They finally addressed it! A ton yeah, there's, there's a ton of people who would be like, Oh, fuck, I don't want to be associated with this. <laughs> I didn't do shit. I was just doing my job, man. <laughs> a shady job, but a job nonetheless. Right? As if I care. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, boot this guy out of the embassy and we can finally end everything. I know, and I will give it my all to see that he leaves in handcuffs. Without the title of the ambassador, he's just another witness. Yes, just another witness. Yeah, everyone is lining up to beat the shit out of this old man. <laughs> oh yeah, she's she's been ready for a while. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get this guy. And by get him, I mean I'm gonna break his fucking kneecaps. And get him good with crowbar. Ooh, I would love to use the crowbar. I wonder if they understand that all I can do is present evidence to the testimony. 
All right, now rebuttal. Albus Alibi Part Three. Just ask you, how good are you can continue? Oh, I'm good to continue until we reach the next continue. Uh, no. Okay. Well, I'm still good to keep going. I have hit my eighth wind after not sleeping for two days, so. I'm good to keep going as well. Just a heads up, at some point here soon, I feel like, actually, I should make a phone call just to find out how soon that's going to be. I'm going to finally find their turning home since it's, what, 1130? Almost yeah. Almost Holy shit, how late are they staying out there? No. To give you an idea, we're not even halfway to the next meeting. Oh, okay. All right, bet. <laughs> that's why I'm like, we're not making that tonight. No. <laughs> Oh. But I will be right back because I am going to make a phone call. Probably find out there's like five minutes out. Okay. Maybe that's usually my luck. Oh, I mean, I guess realistically, maybe midnight is a good stopping point, but... Don't you puss out on me now. Well, no, I say that because I'm like, man, I have to remember that I have to clean this weekend. Hopefully everyone in chat is still having a good time. the third Sonic movie already and I haven't even watched the second one yet. Oh yeah, the Indigo Disc DLC should be coming out soon. When? Is that next week? Okay, it's the 14th. Is that next week? Ah, oh, fuck. I'm really busy that week. Okay, no, that's not next week. That's the following week. But still, I'm really busy that week. Damn it. Oh, well. At least, worst case scenario, I'll just play it over Christmas. Break. Wait, does he not want us pressing statements again? I'm gonna go ahead and save. I am good. Okay. I know what's up. Because I had, um... I had said before going away, I was like, oh, probably about five minutes down my luck. Sure enough, I call, you're good. I'm like, let me guess, you're five minutes out? Yeah, about that. I'm like, fucking knew it. Fucking knew it. That's how it always goes down. As soon as I call. Every time. And Rose, and Rose you all good? It's fine. All right. I killed Mr. Cochin in this theater using a knife that was stuck in my bouquet. Yeah, that's what I said. So we press him even though we're gonna die? Uh, it, the bar went away, so. Oh, okay. Well, I'll still save anyway. Yeah, I went ahead and saved just in case. I'm starting to get tired again, so. <laughs> Come on, ninth wind. Come on, ninth wind. Uh, <laughs> we're in the ninth inning. No. 
Bomb of the ninth. Bomb of the ninth. Bases are loaded and two outs. It really does feel Three like that, to be honest. This case. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no kidding. Holy shit. This case specifically? Yeah. No, this case feels like we're in the bomb of the 13th. <laughs> That's right. As I explained earlier, the commemorative photo shows that you had the knife on your, on your personage. Objection. Did somebody Objection. say persona? Did, did someone say persona? You have I like no. That's okay. <laughs> You, <laughs> you have no proof that the bouquet was prepared by me, isn't that right? Excuse me? The fact that there was a knife in the bouquet was something I wasn't aware of. Bullshit, how do you carry a bouquet and not notice the weight of a whole fucking knife like that? Exactly, I feel like that's exactly what Lang's gonna say. Like, what's the term here, too? An ornate knife? Is that the right phrase, I think? Like, that thing's decorated as hell. It's oh, yeah. Yeah, ornate. More yep. than a regular-ass knife. What a pathetic excuse. The weapon that was used as one of your national treasures. Isn't, it isn't exactly something anyone other than you could touch, let alone take. I allowed some of my trusted subordinates to handle them. It could have been my secretary. You just hear said secretary come screaming through, Nope, nope, I'm, nope. Nope, not me. me. I, I didn't do it. This. Fuck you, old man. I'm not going down for your Goodbye. shit. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're an even bigger slime ball than I thought. You would push the guilt of Mr. Cochin's murder onto one of your subordinates. I've tried to pin this murder on everyone. Are you really that surprised? Hmm. <laughs> In any case, the fact that the knife was in the bouquet means nothing. I would frame one of my subordinates for a Klondike bomb, much less <laughs> get me out of trouble. Uh, it's funny because at this point he really would, though. <laughs> I am indeed a fan of them there Klondike bars. I uh -huh. left that bouquet in the theater. Anyone could have taken the knife from there. You still wish to deny your actions. And you still wish to deny reality and accuse me of murder? What? I am not in denial. Ugh. Even though he's not an ambassador anymore, he's still got a real bad attitude. I believe it's because he's no longer ambassador that he can let himself speak freely. Oh, these well, these girls are gonna cut up a bitch. Oh yeah, they really are. Well, if he's not <laughs> holding anything back, then neither should I. White, for the sake of the case, please refrain from what I think you're about to do. She throws a shuriken at him again. He, he's just he's just holding both of the girls by their collars. Like, yes. Nope, children, stay, stay. <laughs> uh, ah. Quite the pair of frightening women you are, but I digress. Besides, Mr. Cochin's body was discovered in Babal, right? Hold it! Even if he was found in Babal, he was killed somewhere else. Objection! That's not the right way to go. Stop bluffing, because you can't prove what you're claiming. You gotta know when to hold him, Mr. Prosecutor. Oh <laughs> <laughs> if this were a court martial in my country, you'd have already been removed from the room, and your head would have been removed from your body. <laughs> Why did he put the sunglasses back on? <laughs> Are you taunting us on purpose? Because I'd be happy to show you my claws. Hold, it. hold on, Agent Lang. Allow me to fight him my way, with evidence. He's literally having to hold everyone back from just killing this bitch. I mean, yeah, he really is. 
<laughs> I was just joking, mostly. I'm not so easily ruffled by the likes of him. Too bad. Though I'm no longer an ambassador, it still could have been an international incident. Fucking try me, bitch. <laughs> you have the w Oh, I will gladly try you. I'll try every part of you. I'll try ripping that limb off. I'll try ripping that limb off. Maybe I'll try beating the shit out of that forehead of yours. It's a very big, nice target. <laughs> Just leave me the kneecaps, though. Ah, oh, hey, Little Man Tate! Tate. Welcome to the stream! Little Man Tate, what time is it there? Go to bed! Yeah, he's he's on East Coast time too, so it's late. Yeah. I mean, we're hypocritical to say it, but... <laughs> yep. If you have the will to threaten us with that mouth of yours, then perhaps you can use it to return to the testimony. Very well. But to be fair, you should watch what you say as well. There is no way for me to have transported his body from the theater to Babal. Pressing if I feel like that's where we're gonna present. Yeah, probably. Yeah, with the finally use the fucking cart. Right. Is that really so? You could have easily blackmailed your subordinates to be quiet and then move the body. Objection! That's quite an insult to me and my subordinates, and I'm afraid we can't have that. I'm the only Objection. one allowed to insult and throw my subordinates under the bus. I did interrupt you, and I should have, because you beat me to the joke. I was going to say, Objection, you've been insulting your subordinates all night, but now you've gone ahead. <laughs> it's very difficult to enter my embassy, as the gods always conduct a thorough check. If someone so much as makes an unnatural movement, it would arouse their suspicions. Come to think of it, there wasn't anything unnatural about him in the footage. Hmm. Wait. Let me think about that for a second. Mr. Alba said that the god would become suspicious if someone acted unnaturally. But then, by the same token, the god would not become suspicious if someone were to act naturally. If we retrace Mr. Alba's movements, we should find some hint to solving this case. Well, right after the Steel Samurai stage show, he went back to Alabast, right? From there, why am I on this side of the room now? Excuse <laughs> I was me? gonna ask that too! <laughs> uh, my legs are- it's very late, my legs grew tired, I needed to walk, so I walked a few paces over this direction. It is the only thing that is keeping me awake at this point! I am doing laps around the room to keep awake, keep brain focused. From there, he started preparing for a speech in the Alabastian Embassy. I also have decided to go for a walk because, my god, we've been here for so long. It does sound like it wasn't possible for him to have gone to the Babali's embassy. He couldn't have gone to Babal, but the body didn't remain at the theater either. Is it possible that the body was temporarily taken to a different location first? I'm gonna throw the card at that last statement. Oops, I did not mean to loop it around. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Okay. Push card. I did thing! Yay! Boop. Actually, I do believe there was a way to transport the body out of the theater. Perhaps you should give this a look. What is that supposed to be? Is that one of them new fangled VHMs? <laughs> is that uh <laughs> what the kids call an A track? <laughs> I I, I want to change my joke. Is that what the 
one of those newfangled VH1s. <laughs> Not the VH1s. <laughs> there you go, at least it's something actually existing. Okay. It's footage from a security camera that captured the state of the immigration area. Should I congratulate you on getting your hands on it? Damn. Just letting you know, Zephyr, now it's the only ones watching your every movement. Huh. Thank you for the warning. Arm, please. Now, if you can take a good look at this section here. This lump here inside the push pump. Do you know what's causing it? Should I? Because I don't. Babaka. Hmm. In that case, allow me to enlighten you. This is the cause of the unnatural lump under the cloth in the push cart. I'm going to assume now that says notes on the body. Oh, so it's the actual oh. body then. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess the notes on the body one because it's literally the only thing related to the body. Oh, I thought we had I thought we had an actual like body. Okay. Okay. Take that. And boom. Yes. Yep. Okay. Good. It was correct. Did y'all have a good Thanksgiving? I did. Yes. I did anyway. I uh I had COVID, so I just sat Invited in my apartment someone to hang out i know but i i did i did end up enjoying myself i just watched tv and slept so i mean the sleep was definitely necessary but i still feel bad it's like i wanted to give you some kind of like company for thanksgiving no i was good honestly it was it was what i needed i really needed to rest so Meh. still feel bad next thanksgiving i have gave you two thanksgivings oh my goodness what, what is the meaning of showing me that? It's to say that the unnatural bulge in a push cart is Mr. Cochin's body. You had the steel samurai wheel his body away from the real crime scene. Larry. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> what a gas. But I wonder if you have any evidence to support it. Sounds to me like rather than evidence, you'll just dance. Damn. Spitting bars. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That the now. old this man's is... got bars. <laughs> Call me Jareth the Goblin King. Damn. <laughs> I admit that for now, it is but a hypothesis. However... Ha 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 ha. If you can't prove it, then I'm afraid I must be on my way. Your plane is gone, sir. <laughs> the plane no longer exists! Ah. Like, my guy, you've been here for hours. Your plane has taken off, okay? You have to catch the next one tomorrow. Or later today, I guess, technically. I guess I'll just catch the red eye. <laughs> I don't have any more time to play with you people. Hey. Gotcha! Sorry I took so long, Mr. Edwards. Uh... The king has arrived. He's here. Gummy! Detective Gumshoe, is that the Steel Samurai's push cart? Yes, sure. I found it in the open air stage area. So that's where you went. The detective spirit that pops left with me. That pops left with me. I thought I'd go with my gun. Follow my gun and go with it, sure. Show Mr. Edgeworth, is this worth anything to the case? Yes, as a matter of fact, I think it's exactly what we need at this very moment. Thank you. It just might play a major role in solving this case, Detective. Can, can you please give Gumshoe a raise then? Or at least revert his pay to his base pay? Like his original can salary? Least, can you at least pay for his dinner? <laughs> David! David! Holy Hi, shit, David! welcome to the stream! Hi! I ain't gotten to talk to David in... But something isn't right. I thought that the entire samurai family was in Alabast. Yeah, that's Colin! 
It is, yes. Gumshoe, my beloved. I agree. But I still have seen a lot of your animations, though. Very proud of you, mate. Honestly, there was a time where I was going to... If it weren't for a fact that you hit it big so many times, I was tempted to come to you and ask for you to make my uh, my season four intro. Logo intro thing. <laughs> David, how are you? I, I won't be doing it for free, though. I, I won't be asking for free. I don't do I don't ask for shit for free. So, well, except for Lindsay's company, but you're killing me, killing also, me. Also, I should pay her. She suffers so much having to deal with me. So, I know I missed you too. I've been trying to find time to reach out to to, to reach out to you to see if you have time to hang out, but like. Everything has been so busy lately. I would say the same, but I just, I don't hang out with people. <laughs> Dead. Lindsay and Rose there can kind of attest that. I just kind of don't hang out. Uh, At least they know that it's not because I don't like them. It's just because I don't hang out. Yeah, that's I'm fair. I'm a bad friend like that. <laughs> Hey, Colin, we're going to play Genshin. You want to hang out in a call with us? Eh, ask me again in five months. Oh, my gosh. Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. Exactly. <sighs> oh. where, exactly in the, where exactly in the open air stage area did you find this push cart? I found it just winding there at the edge of the stage. Uh, oh? Oh? Well, let's leave that for now and examine the inside, Detective. Yes, sure! We're examining this bitch. Alright, where are we examining first? Uh... The wheel. Oh, how, how wheel. are Shane and Jason? Please help me. Yes, I was right. <laughs> I remembered a thing. You did it. Yeah, my brain worked for more than two seconds. Uh, yeah, you guys play uh, Final Fantasy 14 together. Is that right? Lethal Company for sure. I know nothing about it except that a lot of the YouTubers I follow have played it and I haven't watched a single video. I saw one video of um, this guy, it was on TikTok, and this guy was playing it with his friend and his wife was playing it and she was in the, the other room and I guess they were watching her on the monitor or something and then uh, she ends up with an alien stuck to her face or something like that and you can hear her screaming but because it's proximity chat um, the reason you can hear her screaming is because it's from the other room and it's coming through her husband's microphone. So you just hear this blood curling scream and he's like, I think she's dying. We should probably save her. And then of course, you know, they save her and her scream just fades in on the proximity chat at full volume. <laughs> I think, David, you might have just given me the best reason to check out the game. Because I didn't realize it was a horror game at all. Cause, and I would have lost interest immediately because I'm not a fan of horror because I find it boring. But you say funniest. I do love horror that comes across as comedy. Yep. Yeah, so do I. C 
see uh, Bride of Chucky, Seed of Chucky, fucking any of the Final Destination movies. Scream. Like, horror that balances between horror and comedy is, like, honestly one of my favorite genres. Plain horror is just boring to me, but... Oh, yeah. Hi. I'll have to, oh, right, yeah. David, I, need to, I think I need to add you back to my Steam account, because my Steam got hacked, like, five years ago, and all my friends got removed, so I end up having to just add people slowly over time. And I'm pretty sure you're one of the ones I had on there back in the day. Uh, let's find this. Uh... Yeah, I'll have to pick it up. Yeah, we'll have to play. That sounds like so much fun. Oh, look at that. You found me. Holy shit. Well done. Accept. Yay. Thank you. And I'll also go ahead and... Lethal Company. Ten bucks? I was just going to throw it in my wish list, but... Add to cart. Hold on. Just buy it on stream right now. Done. Ten bucks has a chicken, not sure. No, no, no! I'm so glad that you did! It's so good to see you! Yeah, again, trust me, I understand getting held up. It's a reason why I haven't streamed in, like, over a month. And why I normally stream on, like, Fridays. It's because, generally speaking, I just don't have any other time. <coughs> My job has been so super busy lately. There we go. I just bought you a copy, too. Oh, you did not. <laughs> I did. God damn it. <laughs> well, well, we'll definitely have to schedule a time to play. Um, oh, God. Now I'm sitting here thinking, like, when the fuck do I have time for the rest of this month? God damn it. Oh. It's like Fridays are the only days we can even stream. So. I know. And then, I'm gonna, yeah, uh, oh, I have to do an inspection for my job that's probably gonna take, like, two whole weeks this month. Ugh. At least, at least we're in the same time zone, so, you know, when we pick a time, it's, we don't have to, like, convert it. So I think that helps a little bit. Yes! And also, David, you say disrupting the playthrough. No. This is just how we are anyway. <laughs> Let's see, we're five hours into this stream, which means we're at like 32 hours total for this particular case now. Which, uh, which Ace Attorney games have you finished so far? Oh, yeah, that being said, also, um, I think actually her stream says, yeah, it says blind, it says blind. Okay, just want to make sure. This is her fourth ever Ace Attorney game. Oh, nice! Oh, okay! Oh, you're gonna have a blast. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, so you haven't even actually properly met Francisca yet. Nice. Hmm. Oh my god, and then, oh. Good job. Oh, good job. I was about to say, you get to meet some oh. new husband. What, what would you class go do as? Husband? Daddy? My beloved. <laughs> beloved. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, yeah, want... you know, technically he's not mine, per se. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, he belongs uh, to someone though, else, but... I know your shipper heart. <laughs> uh... 
No, I haven't watched those Jello videos because I didn't want spoilers. So. Yeah, see, I didn't watch those either because I didn't want spoilers. But I know Zach's in them. So I'm like, as soon as we finish this damn game, I'm going to watch those. Because I, I want to I wanna see Zach. Or I guess hear Zach. Zach like, funny one always, Zach? Yeah. Damn, I did not know that. Uh-huh, yeah. He's he's on a lot of uh, Jello's videos. God, like, all the old he did the He did the Earth. Donald Duck impression for them. And what did I, I, have to, I don't watch many of Jello's videos. Um, like it, it was the Kingdom Hearts 2 one, and then I think they had a nope. separate video where it was Donald as a sock, and then he sings, uh, um... Symbol and clean. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that was Zach. I think, I think you had me see that one. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that was Zach. Ah, oh, fucking David with animating, Zach with Jello, and Michael with voice acting everyone and everything everywhere. Oh my god, I know. The old crew fucking got big. Uh, I went by Michael's stream, like, one time, and unf I don't think he remembers my username. And I was like, oh, well, it is what it is. Oh, Michael's streams? Yeah, I went by just one time. Uh, you might- did Michael join at the same time as us, or did he join before us? Michael joined after us. Did he join after us? Yeah, he joined after us. Nah, you're good, Rose. Um, Michael was... Oh, God, what was Michael's screen name? Because uh, it wasn't... It wasn't, Co it wasn't Kovox back then. It was something else. Yeah, it wasn't Kovox, but I have a way of figuring that out. Give me one moment. Um... Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Remembers Kovacs, okay, there you go. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's Michael. The number one thing I remember from Michael back in the day was coming in and seeing the the fucking um uh Jurassic Park theme song. Oh my fucking shit, fucking dinosaurs, dinosaurs Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. What the Yeah, fuck he did. He the... blew up majorly. Yes. Yeah, that's yep, that's who he is. Um, as of right now, because they had to recast Hasbin Hotel for the show, he is now the... Oh god, what's the name of the that circus? The show that just came know. out? What show? What? There's a show that just came out. It was, um... And he's in it. It's... Yeah, Digital it's Circus Show. Thank you. Thank you, David. Yeah, yes, that. that's it. So he's in that. He's also in... He's in Lack of Daisy. In a lot of, uh... He's also in a lot of uh, death battles as well, apparently. He played Goku Black. He's going to be playing uh, Goku in this new one. Well, then that means Michael was in ones you animated, possibly, right, David? Or helped animate with, I guess? Oh, yeah, I forget David also does... Yeah! <laughs> death I forgot that, shit. <laughs> Okay, after you left. Okay, okay. I mean, maybe I'm biased, but uh, your your animations were always my favorite part of those. So. <laughs> uh. David and David's animations are fucking insane. I remember shortly after, like, the group kind of disbanded, like unofficially disbanded, but. I saw someone, I'm like, oh, these are good. Then, like, years later, finally see something by Dave again. I'm like, holy shit, the improvement. Hell yeah. Honestly, at times I have a hard time believing that he does them solo. It's like, that's not feasible. <laughs> One of my favorite things is, uh, oddly enough, a lot of the Discord servers that I'm in still use the fucking, like, toad freaking out gif. Oh, uh, they're like, ah! Yeah. Yeah, I see that in thumbnails occasionally. I think I just saw it in a thumbnail yesterday for something. I don't fucking remember what. Because I talked to Kyle somewhat recently. Oh yeah, Corin was here earlier.
That, that's, that's fair and valid, yeah. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll tell her you said hi. Um. Her, her phone died or she probably still would have been here. Yeah, also, I totally get that. Doing stuff by yourself in in the creative realm like that usually is just a lot easier. <laughs> well, we have that chat that no one uses. <laughs> uh. That being said, I feel like if I were to be more creative, I'd rather have a partner, because I feel like having a partner would actually kick my ass into gear more. Like, I haven't streamed at all until, I didn't even think about streaming until Lindsay uh, tonight was like, are we streaming tonight? I'm like, oh, fuck, yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah, sure. I yeah. was fully prepared to just lounge and do jack all tonight, but Ryan, so I was like, are we streaming? Ryan is kind of just like that because, you know, he's working on his games and he's working on all that stuff, so he really just does not respond in general. He does, if you're in his Discord, um, he will occasionally respond in, in his Discord, but he doesn't generally respond to DMs, I've noticed. Oh, while I'm here, I can also creep around and find, uh, oh, God, Discord's there. Um, oh, that's not gonna work, because I have that as a thing. Yeah, uh, usually if you one. need me for anything, if you hit me in a DM on, on Discord, I will usually see it and respond. I'm gonna... Lindsay's disappearing from my stream for a moment, just because I'm about to leave this screen in Discord, so I could go uh, try and find... Add friend. I'm going to assume, David, that it's the same name for Discord. Oh. I mean, it says success. It was sent, so... Oh, yay! Cool! Yay! Hooray! Hooray! just brought up <laughs> it is but here's the thing i don't remember seeing that prior to this year i saw it in 2019 <laughs> i don't remember seeing it before earlier this year. i'm fucking dead bro <laughs> that's why i was able to remember because i'm like oh i just watched that for the first time a couple months ago it was fucking great that's it's fine david i'm i'm likely just as guilty of that same kind of thing in the past. No, I'll probably hit you up if you don't mind, uh, just because I have a new intro for my channel I want to do, but uh, I can't 3D animate a damn thing, and I kind of want to do kind of requires a little bit of, like, 3D look to it. It's not something, anything super complicated. It'd be, like, 5-10 seconds long, and it's just really a panning down on an already established shot. Well, say already established. Now I'll go into deeper details about another time, but point is, especially compared to shit I've seen you do, I uh, not complicated the slightest. I would be fine if it was done by May. I, like what I'm using it for is probably not going to exist until April at the earliest, especially at the rate I'm going. Shadow the Hedgehog has been done recording for over two months now. Jesus Christ. I haven't touched Twilight Princess in over a month. Okay. What I'll probably do is just wait until the new year then. I'll probably, like, send you the information of what I'm looking for prior, and then, but I'll just 
not actually like ask for it until the new year. Hmm. Someone getting sweepy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nope, that didn't work. Shit. Uh, Steel Samurai Daddy used this push pod to wheel the Iron Infant around. The Iron Infant is the Steel Samurai's and the Pink Princess's kid, right? Yes, he made an appearance at the end of the end of the stage show. Oh, right, I can bring you back into existence. Hold on, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. You Blam. just, you just here back in my stream now. Poofed me out of existence. How dare you? I did because I had to go check on another thing in Discord, and I didn't want you know the entire Discord. <laughs> How could you? Out. Yeah, if I can Thanos myself earlier, I can Thanos you for a little bit too. That's funny. It was a rather fitting ending to the whole thing. The Steel Samurai was unwittingly forced to move the body. It's just unforgivable. Poor Larry. How dare you use my hero for your crimes? Uh, it shouldn't, but I mean, in terms of spoilers, it's probably better if you just, you know. It hasn't thus far. Uh... Have you met who? Let me let me at least ask you this: Have you met who the Steel Samurai is in that case? Like who, the actual identity of Steel Samurai, the actor, I should say. Oh, you haven't met. That's a shame because he's fucking great. He is well. fantastic. The actor is fantastic. Okay. Nothing that has happened here has related to that first case, though, so I don't... Yeah, I can't, Every, everything I can't. that happens here is, I believe, so far removed from that first case that it shouldn't spoil anything. Yeah, I can't imagine it doing so. I can't think of anything in that case that would pop up here. This would be like, so you're, like, you're watching season one of Law & Order, and we're in, like, season 18. Like, all the characters are different, and it's just, it's the same show in name. You know what I mean? Season 1 house versus season 8 house. Yeah, yeah, basically. Like, none of the original actors are even on the show anymore. <laughs> Except oh, for maybe, no like, one, one guy. House and Wilson. <laughs> yeah, not exactly. Not around anymore. Just, just House and Wilson are left. Well, and Cuddy, but... <laughs> Speaking of, no, that's what I'm saying. I think it was season eight where Cuddy left as well. Whatever the final season was. Yeah, of course. Trust me, I do not blame you in the slightest. Oh. Ah, thank you for the follow. <laughs> thank you very much for the follow on Twitch, David. Much appreciated. And also, you got to have, um, you got to have Watt from Paper Mario as your follow icon. Yay. I love, I, I love seeing, like, who gets what partners for, uh, for the randomly generated follow uh, notification. That's cute. Yeah. I don't know if I ever shared that with you, Lindsay. So my follow notification is all Paper Mario related. If they follow on Twitch, they get one of the random, uh, like, a random one of the eight partners from Paper Mario. And if it's if they're subscribed on YouTube, they get one of the eight randomly get one of the eight partners from Thousand Year Door. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cute. I love that. Of course, mine's just yeah. Isaac because I'm basic. So eventually, once is, I am actually in a position to get uh, like donations and such, I also have a bunch of things set up with Zelda rupees. Oh, cute. Yeah, I need to work on mine. I need to work on so yeah. many things for the channel, but I just. A, don't have time, and B, don't have the skills. All right. You, David. Thank you very much, and you have a great night. Bye, David. Thanks for stopping by. And of course, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make some time to hang out. And oh, I, I miss you too. Minutes, okay. Huh? I'll be back in about two minutes. Okay. 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 Have a good night. Enjoy Ace Attorney.
David is the sweetest. Yeah, I, I feel so bad, Robbie, though. Because we were just talking about all of the shit. <laughs> Sorry. I do mean it though. David is literally the sweetest person. It's just crazy to me that like you know we were all just in high school back then and over time people have you know made their dreams come true or they found like different passions or you know just gone on different paths and you know it's cool Yeah, yep, exactly. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant. reminds me like off topic that um i need to play one of ryan's games on stream one of these days i really want to play red haze he has so ryan makes horror games that's his favorite thing to do um but he has one that's like a horror rpg and i really 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 want to play that one i just haven't gotten around to playing it naturally on stream Oh, I've been sitting in this chair for so long. That was terrifying, by the way. Why, well, thank you. Oh, my God. At least you're awake. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> now, actually, playing, um, playing Lethal Company with them does sound fun, because it would it give does. me flashbacks to when we would play Left 4 Dead together. Still never played that either. Oh my god. Like, they're so funny. I yeah, haven't played a game with Shane in a switch. hot minute. Which, as you know, kind of like bumps it out of my uh, priority list if it's a first person uh, shooter of any kind, because I'm just not a fan of shooters. I think it's third person? Oh, you mean Left 4 Dead? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's just. It's just fun. Not to say the first-person shooters or shooter games are bad. It's just not necessarily for me. Yeah, no, I get that. So I looked at the cart, and it only has two dialogue options. It's just the one thing we did already, and then the blood stain on the inside of the cart. Oh, Kadoki. Hmm. It's blood. This must be Mr. Coaching's blood. Which only goes to prove that Mr. Cochin's body was indeed transported by this pushcart. Mm. Nah. Nah. I believe you understand what this means, correct? Also, apologies if anyone can hear my dog clattering around, because she's down here now. Is it Cora or and Kaya? Not... Cora. And if I'm not in bed... At this time of night, then she does not settle down and she'll just go walking around the place sniffing everything she can find. No, oh, baby. She doesn't go to bed until I go to bed for whatever reason. 
well, yeah, all right, so we'll wrap this up soon so that she won't be <laughs> putzing oh, around no, all I'm night. Uh, you killed Mr. Cochin at the theater, then placed his body inside the push cart. And then you forced a steel samurai to unwittingly move the body for you, you son of a bitch, I'll kill you. I will end you! How dare I... you make him accessory to your murder? But I, I, I definitely don't care about the person playing uh, the Steel Samurai. I don't care if you added him as part of oh, the murder. Get him arrested for all I care, but you do not besmirch the Steel Samurai's name. I do like part of my head canon is that um, Edgeworth is just extremely sudere about his friendship with Larry. Like, Wouldn't they're actually, be... like, the three of them are actually friends, right? But he just, like, right. refuses to admit that they're friends. I mean, wouldn't you be? I mean, I would, yes, I would. But it's just, like, I, what I'm saying is, like, he genuinely would care if he got arrested. But <laughs> he's not gonna say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I forced him to move the body into Alabast. Meanwhile, Nick also doesn't want to admit that they're friends, but is like, yeah, sure, I'll pay your bail, whatever. Yeah. Just, just try not to do this again for the eighth time, Larry. <laughs> the eighth fucking like, time. I don't necessarily want to be your friend, but we're kind of already here, so. Like, Larry is just, it's basically like you're friends with him for life, whether you want to be friends with him or not. You have no choice or their, no say in the matter. He is their soulmate, even yes. though they did not ask for this. Yes. <laughs> what nonsense. Why would I bother to do such a thing? Objection! You were scheduled to make a speech in Alabast, meaning it was difficult for you to make a stop in Babar. However, what if you moved the party to Alabast? Because it was your embassy, you could keep an eye on it and tamper with the evidence. And then you smuggled it out of Alabast. N no You need some moisturizer, sir. I told you, I have I a 20-step skincare routine. And you need 60 more steps and maybe a couple more after that anyway. Just to, for safe measure. If I can show how you move the body from Alabas to Babal, then I win. See, I get that, but I'm the opposite. There are a lot of really good first-person shooters that do actually have decent stories, and I just third-person feels better for me. But you can't. The security between the two countries is incredibly tight. Sometimes it's just weird for me with shooters because, I mean, like, I'm not a big fan of playing first-person anything. And yet, Portals 2 is one of my favorite games of all time. Yeah. <sighs> like, there's no excuse for that. Like, regardless if it's a puzzle, it's still, by technicality, first-person shooter. It's definitely first-person, no matter how you swing it. But... See, that's like, I love Half-Life, but I am just, I struggle playing it because it's a first-person game. I'll be the one to judge whether I can or cannot prove it. And so I ask you to provide us with testimony regarding your movements after you return to Alabast. <sighs> Miles Edgeverse, have you figured it out? Do you know how the body does move? To be honest, I have nothing to support my hypothesis at this time. I should probably not say this out loud. We should probably be using our inside voices for this. I probably should not yell this across the room, but, you know. <laughs> it's fucking 6 a.m. now, and I'm tired. The sun has risen already. And it's March, meaning that it doesn't rise early. However, I don't believe I've made a mistake in my logic up to this point, which means... There's no questions that it can't be answered, right? The, pr 
Primidu statue is smuggled successfully through a brief flight through the air. So why shouldn't there be an answer to how the body was moved? Which means that there must be a logic flaw somewhere I can exploit. Yay! Good job, Rose! Platinum Yay, trophy Yay! Platinum trophy! Was that for Spongebob? Spongebob. Before we dive into this testimony, is this where we want to call it? Part of me wants to just read this and then go to, like, the, the part where we have to choose. You know what I mean? Oh, the rebuttal? Yeah, and then save there. Okay, makes sense. That's just, I don't know, that's just how my brain works. No, I mean, fine by me, because, yeah, we'll have to reread it anyway, so. Exactly. All yeah. right, testimony, movements in Alabast. Yay, congrats! After I returned to Alabast, I had my picture taken with the steel samurai shaking hands. Then, Keep just as it. I was about to stop my speech, the Yatagarasu appeared. I feared for the national treasures, so I raced back to my office. Wow, that was short. Is that all? I said what I said. Objection! Yes, that's all. It looks like you left out a few things. Such as the murder of Master Math 2. Furthermore, you left out the part about meeting with me in your office. Ah, those trifling matters. I don't believe I need to speak of those things again. I do so hate to waste time. What? Did you just call me a trifling matter? I said what I said. <laughs> I say, I say. I say, I say. All right, Rose, you have yourselves, uh, yeah, yourselves? Yes, you are multiple people now, Rose. You have yourself a good night. Good night, Rose. Good night, friend. Bye bye. Good boys. Cora, go lie down. You. Is not every life precious? <laughs> Do you really need me to answer that for you? People like you cannot be allowed to wander freely through society. Huh. Then you better try hard, because I doubt you'll find a single contradiction. Joke's on you, I love that Weird Al song. God damn it. You got it. Oh wait, no, that's Spy Hard. Fuck my joke. Good night, Sauce! He's really full of himself, isn't he? Yes, he is. How can he be so confident at a time like this? <laughs> Come, don't be shy. Go ahead and ask whatever you'd like. Mr. Ha. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, rebuttal. Movements in Alabast, and now we save the game. Oh, no, have to get past this one screen first and then save it. Eh. Yes. Save the game is a sudden spin and play? Yes. Holy shit! This fucking case! So long, which is funny because it's not actually longer than Rise from the Ashes, apparently, but, you know, apparently. we just can't fucking but, uh, finish it. But you, also, you were, like, mostly on your own for that one, so you were just, like, flying through. Yeah. Meanwhile, yeah. the tangent twins that we are. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, that's normally what happens when you have multiple people on a stream. It takes longer. Yeah, multiple people with ADHD. Fork. <laughs> yeah, oh god, because there's two of us. Yeah, exactly. Alright, uh, well... one of us is autistic, too, so... Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, we'll get it We'll get it done eventually. And it's fun every time, so... It is. I do have fun doing this. We Just have fun god, here. I'm ready to be done with this fucking case. <laughs> <laughs> Soon, TM. <laughs> eventually tm but a lot soon sooner than before TBD. we started the stream soon parentheses tbd yes exactly 
Uh, <laughs> so what? We've probably got like two, three more streams left. As long as this one, probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Uh, yeah. But still, this was fun, so... And I'm glad we got this whole thing settled now, like, worked out. So it's not <sighs> obnoxious to deal with. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, being able to actually have us both sharing streams like this. Yeah. Bork. Yeah, it functioned well on my end. I don't know about yours. Discord seemed to actually be okay on my side yeah discord um discord did had a couple like um issues but it wasn't like too bad you know what i mean right short-lived if anything yeah okay thank you everyone for coming out thank you rose thank you david thank you corin thank you to the one spammer i got that one time early on uh thank you little man tate there was someone else. Who was it? Zakari. Oh, thank you, Bola Beats. Really, Brown thank you, Bola babe. Beats, for making her blind temporarily. It was great. Oh, my God. <laughs> all right. We thank you all for watching. We hope you have yourselves a wonderful day. Yeah, thank you guys for joining us, and we hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, Zos. Good night, Zos. Adios.